Alrighty, and I do believe we are now live. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a brand new series on Ashes 2063 Enriched Edition. So this is a Doom mod. It's a total conversion for Doom 2, and it features basically you as a character in a post-apocalyptic world. You ride around on a motorcycle. You're searching through... Ruins, scavenging really for useful items, and fighting off the post-apocalyptic monster. So, the Enriched Edition is a remaster for this that added in the, basically, DLC expansion, Dead Man Walking, into the main campaign. And I've also downloaded the second episode for this, which is Ash's Afterglow, which we're going to play after we finish Part 1. So, yeah, I'm excited for this new series. I think it's going to be awesome, and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you all. So, welcome the stream, everybody. Welcome NightBBS1. Welcome Kirok. Welcome Yoshi. Welcome Really Doom Guy. Hope you guys are having a good one. Uh, Yoshi says, Good evening, everyone. My day has been decidedly not good. Uh oh. My bowels have declared war with my COVID infection. Oof. That's a big ol' oof, Yoshi. Well, I'm sorry you're feeling poorly, dude. I uh, hope the stream will entertain you in the meantime, and I hope you get to feeling better. Really Doom Guy says, hi, good live cast. Hey, thanks, man. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you as well, Steve. Welcome, welcome. Says, how's everyone doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm, I'm feeling uh, bad for Yoshi, though, having to deal with COVID. It's nasty stuff. So I myself had a little bit of a, like a sinus infection or something going on. I took some Sudafeds. I am feeling much better now. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get in to Ashes 2063. I've been looking forward to playing this one for uh, quite some time, so this should be fun. All right, so chapter select, we've got tutorial, episode one, and Dead Man Walking. I have never played this before, um, so I'm going to start with the tutorial. Okay, skill select. Now, I don't really know anything about the skill select system in this game. Uh, relax, standard, arcade, survival, and then there is apocalypse. So I don't, again, I don't really know what the difference is in difficulty modes. I wonder if there's information about there about that. Ashes... 2063 difficulty modes. Let's see if we can learn the differences real quick. Okay, here's a wiki on it. Maybe that'll have some information. Uh, let's see. Difficulty. Well, difficult is not a word on the page, so I'm going to go with no. <laughs> uh, well, I guess not. I guess there's very little information about it. Okay, well, without having any real information... <coughs> Hold up a second. So, Arcade... Oh, if it gives you a little bit of information. Uh, you just click on it and it says... Okay, so, Relax says, For beginner players or story over combat. Enemies are less common, its supplies are more plentiful, play and relaxed. Okay, Standard, regular difficulty for experienced players with an emphasis on action, play on Standard. Arcade, hard difficulty, plenty of enemies and stuff to shoot them with, ultraviolence equivalent. That's usually what I play Doom as. Uh, survival, a true survivor makes the most of what he has, ammo is more scarce, and you take more damage. But so do your enemies. Alright, survival. <coughs> mm. Excuse me, everybody. Every mistake hurts, every enemy wants you dead, every fight could be your last. The ultimate challenge is playing Apocalypse. Music is too much, says Roy Doom. Guys, is it too loud? Let me uh, turn that down for you real quick. It's good music, but yeah, it's a little, it's a little noisy. Sound. Let's turn music down to like say 40%. Is that a little bit better? Maybe even down to like 35. There you go. That's a little bit better. Not so overpowering. All right. Anyway, Kirok says, "Test, sir. How you doing, buddy? What's up, Kirok? Just going over the difficulties right now." Mr. Bass says, "Hell yeah, I've been waiting." was waiting for this. Awesome, man. It's going to be a great series. All right, Arcade is the ultraviolet equivalent. Okay, good to know. Um, anyway, Steve says, Dead by Walking... Dead Man Walking, I think you meant to say, is the DLC. Right, right, right. Yeah. I'm familiar with that. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try starting it on Apocalypse. We'll do the tutorial anyway on Apocalypse and uh, see, how, see how it is. So... Maybe that'll help me make my decision, knowing what the hardest version of this is going into it. Okay, welcome to Ashes, the total post-apocalyptic Doom conversion. I love the graphics. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. As a scavenger, you'll need to learn how to navigate the wasteland. That makes sense. Okay. 
I always love arcade mode, do you man? Doom Upcoming says, hello, what is this mod? This is Ashes 2063. Post wave, a uh, post uh, apocalyptic survival game. All right, can't go in here. Can't use these broken down cars. Some areas require jumping or crawling, uh, especially secrets. That makes sense. Poof, easy. You can hop through sludge and nukage, but it's best to avoid it entirely. Yeah, that took out like 10 health points just from barely hitting it. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, uh, guys, the jumping system is not quite what I'm used to. Hold up a second. I got to double check something advanced. Open full GZ do menu. Got to make sure of something real quick. Compatibility options. Oh, it's set to default. Sometimes in these mods, if it's set to like Doom Strict or something, it'll make the jumping a little off. All right, this is no joke. You have to have very precise jumping movements. All right then. What's out here? Anything? No. Ooh, look at the detail of the map. Oh, that's cool. All right, Monsters 15, Secrets 1. Uh-oh. Looks like cannibals work here. Make sure you've bound a key to your alt fire and boot knife. Did I do that? I don't know. I don't know if I did. Game is louder than cast. Is it still? Do I need to turn it down a little bit more? So, graphics look cool. They are. This is my type of game, by the way. Sledge Eagle's not good. Oh, yeah. If you like Fallout or Stalker, you will enjoy this game. Well, I haven't played Fallout or Stalker, but they look like games I'd enjoy. So, let me know about the game audio if I need to turn it down still a little bit. Save ammo with melee weapons, but don't forget to reload your guns. Right. Oh, hold a minute. Time out. I forgot I was going to check my config. Controls. Key list. Okay. We have mouse one, secondary fire, boot knife. Boot knife is F. Oh, okay. It's like a single swipe. Oh, crap. Oh, goodness. There's a lot of these guys, too. Oh boy, I'm gonna run away. Alright. Nice. That was a good use of boot knife, I guess. Sweet! Okay, health is on 10. So that's not great. Uh, can I interact with this garbage at all? How many enemies was that? Four. Hey, I bet if I shot this, it'd blow up. Hey, hey, I was right. Ooh, fancy. Okay, probably shouldn't waste ammo like that, though, huh? Skull Zexro says hello. What's up, Skull? Hey, thank you guys for nine likes. Your only melee weapon is a Call of Duty style knife and a crowbar. Alrighty then. Ooh, a little bit of a lantern or something. The lantern can be used to navigate darker areas and even recharges in sunlight. Okay, how do you activate the lantern exactly? Probably tells me if I go a little bit further, doesn't it? Eh, I wanna see if I can figure it out myself. It's like I always say, I learn things when you can just not. I am going to Yeah, I actually have no idea how to use it. Maybe you have to switch to it. Liver. Nice try, dummy. Ooh! Got cane pillars and heavy bullets. I got a little bit more health now. Uh-oh. Watch out for radiation hot spots. Unlike slime, your only defense is to minimize exposure. Got some junk. Okay. Hooray, I suppose. Catch two is apocalypse like a dum-dum. It gets absolutely mauled by the first enemies in the tutorial map. What do you mean absolutely mauled? I, I lived-ish. Holy moly, they literally erase you. <laughs> I know, right? Starlight says hi. What's up, Starlight? Did you ever play Goldeneye? I did not, Kirok. Break boxes and trash cans that might have ammo or junk. Oh, okay. Let me uh, backtrack and try that real quick. So boxes and, oh. Oh, uh, wait. There you go. Oh, you're right. Well, good to know. So this is what it means by be a scavenger, I guess. All right, we got a, we got one piece of junk. I don't think this does anything. It does not. Okay. 
Hopefully it doesn't dull my knife. That'd be a cool feature if that was a thing. <laughs> like you have to sharpen your knife every once in a while. Uh, tires don't do me a wick of good. Uh, not all doors are locked, but be wary of what may be working behind them. Do spiders hurt you in this game? I'll bet you they do. Blade of agony that hurt you. Although these aren't spiders, they're like little bugs. Oh, I can kill it. Got some painkillers. I'm gonna save real quick. I'm gonna make my first save. We're gonna call it first save because I'm a cheeky little stinker. Here's a knife. Can I pick up the knife? I cannot. I can knife the knife. Well, I am glad I saved. That's why we save things, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Painkillers. Cane pillars. I didn't say cane pillars. I didn't say that. Fake news. What happens if you shoot the radiation pods? Um, I don't know. It's nothing! That's what happens. Okay. Bruh, wop wop. Good thing you saved. Yeah. Real good thing. That door locked. Oh! Oh! Ah! Die! Oh, you stupid midget. Oh, my stink. Okay. That was terrifying. Eat his flesh. Eat his flesh. Nice. Got him. I get his liver. I get his liver. These are cannibals. They're creepy little critters, too. Like stink. I mean, you have to knife them like a good three or four times to even get anywhere with it either. Gotta conserve ammo, though. Conserving ammo is important because this is a difficulty where there's not much ammo, right? We're, we're, we're playing on hard mode, son. I'm a beginner, and I'm playing on hard mode. I'm a, I'm a hardcore guy that way, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, you might want to play an easier difficulty since you're new to this. Uh, I, I feel like I'm handling it so very well, though. You know what I mean? Just, just a little bit. Some items automatically use... aren't automatically used and can be saved till later. How do you access them? Is there like a an inventory menu? Usually there is, and I can never figure out how to use it. Uh, controls, key list. I don't see anything about inventory, so I'm gonna go with no. At least for now. Okay. We die in this game. Really reminds me of Goldeneye, really. Oh man, him after being happy of knowing that doesn't do anything. Oh ho. Well, it, it didn't. It didn't do anything. They're cannibalistic purple freaks. Yep. Pretty much. Ooh, a med kit. Well, how nice is that? I got a first aid kit. I got some bullets. Okay, life is looking up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's save again. All right, let's save on first save. That's validating its name. Pretty standard ambush, but some cannibals can be more inventive. I'm going to eat you. Oh, look, they can. Oh, this guy's weird looking. Oh, hey, I got him. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to eat you. Have fun? I, it didn't really work out for him very well. Oh, there he is. Oh, ow! Yikes! Oh, gosh. Okay. It's more painkillers and bullets, thank goodness. All right, so do these little things count as enemies? Let's find out. Oh, ho, they don't. I'm guessing they're safe, right? If you place a pipe bomb on the floor, it can be disarmed by pressing use on it. Careful. Oh, okay. Uh, so does that mean I gotta like sneak up to it and stuff? Let's make a second save. We'll call it second save. It'll be amazing. Hmm. I was trying to decide whether to capitalize it or not, like it mattered. Oh, a poster for Ultimate Doom! Hey, hold up. Nice, we got it. Got the pipe bomb, son. It's in my inventory now. Okay, ooh, I got a crowbar. Here's the crowbar. Here's this. This is my knife. I could start swinging at people with this thing, too. I'd be like, like that guy from Half-Life, whatever the hell his name is. So, free... Morgan Free... No, that's somebody else. Yeah, real man play on a pop. See, real Doom guy gets it. Cast, that won't last. This mod really likes hit scanners. I played an arcade and had a fairly challenging time the whole way through. Really? 
No, oh, maybe I should play an arcade then. Guys, I have to run back to the store. I'll be right back. All right, Kirok. These games need to release on Steam. They're literal masterpieces. Nice. Why do I think this was a non-Doom game? Hey, Pidgey, welcome. Uh, you're not alone, dude. Martin thought the same thing. Whoa, that chopper down there looks almost untouched. Let's see if we can get it out of here. Oh, okay. Maybe. Here, we'll save again real quick. Oh! Oh, that's disgusting looking. Nice! I beheaded the critter. Woo! 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 Oh, crap. Okay. So maybe that's not the best way to go after. Now, what about a pipe bomb? Have fun! Woo! Oh, I destroyed them little critters. Anybody left? Sure as stink, hope not. Dang, this door won't budge without power. Look for a generator. Oh, and that can take the motorcycle out. That's cool. Yeah, I forgot this game. You can uh, use motorcycles for stuff. That's pretty neat. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, a dead bug. Lame. I'm gonna come here for dead bugs, dummy. All right, so I'll tell you what. Yoshi, at your recommendation, buddy, I will play the main campaign on arcade mode. So, uh, after we finish tutorial mode. <laughs> Um, the power's on, should be able to open the door. Okay. Feel like I should save again. This would be a great time for a little ambush. Great. Now use your new haunt to end the level. Will do. Take it for a spin. Might be able to get over the, the gap by using the ramp. Okay, let's do it. We'll go back here. Get a little speed up. Oh, ho, no. Oh, ho, ho. Woo! Yee! Okay, nice jump, bro. Now try getting through the wreckage without crashing. Getting through the wreckage. Oh, that's what he meant. Oh, boy. Uh, can I go around it? For the most part, yes. Whoop, whoop. Oh. Well, I didn't crash. Wee! Uh oh. I guess you get off of this. Really, dude? That wasn't enough to kill you? Yeah, that's what I stinking thought. So, so when does the when does the actual level end exactly? I don't know. You can jump to get off your hog if you see something interesting. I can't lie, the gas station does look interesting. Oh, is that the end, or is that the whole new beginning? Okay. Oh man, second save. That would be cool. For Ford on Greenman. Yeah, that guy. That guy. <laughs> nice fit, Cass. Hey, thank you, Pidgey. Uh, Cass, after seeing something like a monkey, to me, makes monkey noises. The chomper is somehow both stiff and floaty at the same time. You can steer with both the mouse and the A and D keys. Oh, okay, sweet. Cass is, make, is sure making some weird sounds today. Too much hemp? Uh, maybe a little bit. Maybe some really good hemp, you know? I love how they use the VAT sounds for buttons, right? What's this? Oh, I got food! Oh, that probably gives me more health, right? Ooh. I got a revol a new revolver? It's the same one I have. Does that just give me extra ammo? Probably. Okay, so we looted this little store here. We heard the birds. Do I need to crash through that? Is that how this works? Wait, gas? Do I actually buy gas? Free Call of Duty frog toy. Really? Wow. Regular $8.65. Oof. I thought it was bad now. Why was I wrong? Uh, out of curiosity, what happens if I shoot the gas pump? Literally nothing. And I think it doesn't do anything either. I guess it doesn't have any gas anymore. It's an old broken down station. Why would there still be gas? Makes sense. All right, let's uh, be on our way. Oh, your fire towns are a good place to trade. Not a good place to find. Oh, okay. Ashes is best played in the dark. Adjust your brightness until this area is dark and shadowy. How about no? Already looks dark and shadowy and I'm streaming. 
I don't even think people can see very this very well. Probably the point. Got some junk. I sure did. <laughs> Hello, buggies. It's a bell of some kind. Okay. This is a town, right? No, no baddies. Oh, there's only one enemy left in the whole level. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh man. Okay. So man, you gotta save. I do gotta save, dude. I gotta save. What's down this way? A corner. Lovely. All right. Oh! Is that from earlier? Or is that new? I have no idea. Something I want to get to, though. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? You guarding your, your stuff? You're back home. Use the switch to enter your pad. Sweet! Okay, is there anything else of here of interest I should check out before I go into my pad, per se? Nothing at all? Okay. All right, then, guys. Uh, you've almost completed the tutorial. Press the switch to travel to your first mission. Some characters are friendly and can be traded with or spoken to. You need a silver utility key. Of course I do. Uh, sup, Scav? You want to use my shooting range? It's your lucky day. Only $60. Do I have $60? Um, I don't think so. Deal? Where would I get $60? We oui, where would I get $60? Well, it don't have to actually be dollars, right? If you got some junk worth about the same, that'd be cool too. Right, I'll go look for something to trade. I have some junk right here. You're a little short, Scav. Come back when you got the money. Oh, I got $55 worth of junk. I see, I am a little short. He's right. Look around for alternate paths and places where goodies might be stashed. Can't steal any of that, can I? I guess not. All right, let's go to the exit button. All right, guys, GG. So we cleared a garage pump. So I guess uh, I guess this is just like regular Doom. You got the end screen with various kills, items, and secrets. Good deal. Totally overdid the par, didn't I? Oh, I'm back in the regular episode one. All right, so at this point, well, I would say at this point I'd switch, yeah, I guess I'll switch over to a new difficulty. Oh man, find the lantern. Keep looking for the option. Find the lantern? Okay. I don't know, I'm tempted to just weave it on Apocalypse difficulty. But I'm not sure how much I actually want to struggle through with this. Because I'm sure it gets in pretty intense later on. Uh, controls. Key list. I don't, I don't see the option at all. Uh, key binds. Set mark, clear path. Oh, I just scroll up, silly me. Okay, ah, here it is, lantern is L, journal is J, activate item is enter, next item, previous item, okay. Okay, that makes sense. So, we can use these keys to cycle through our inventory, like we have a medical kit, for example, which I'm going to use. My activate button doesn't work, dang nabbit. Check it, guys. Uh, look, config, controls. This happened to me before when we tried playing uh, Golden Souls. So look, it says activate item is enter. What if I change that to something innocuous like P? Yeah, okay, so that's set to P, right? Look. We got medical kit. Oh, there you go, that works. Perfect, okay. So, uh, yeah, control, key list. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, and then uh, lantern is L, which I'm assuming has like batteries or something associated with it, right? Oh, it does, I can see it. There's a little battery bar there. Also, real quick question, guys. Uh, my face is currently covering up a little bit of the HUD, as you can see. Oh, hey, look. Hey, look, you can see the door in the background there. Haha. <laughs> Let's change that real quick. Uh, my question to you is, should I move it over here to the center of the screen? Like, does that look, does that look better? Is that preferable? The only problem is my face is covering up the gun now. Oh, you know what I could do, though? I could move it to about, like, right here. That wouldn't cover up anything. Yeah, let's give that a try. So let me know what you guys think about that if you want it back in the corner. 
uh, let me know. Door gaming. Door gaming. We got some junk. Speaking of doors. What else we got around here? All right, hold up. We got to save again. Got to make a first save. Of course, we got an auto save, too, that we can rewind if we must. Nice. Uh, I'll stay. Can't jump over that. We have to figure out a way to open it. Oh, wait a minute. What if... Oh my gosh, that caught some dude on fire. Oh, these guys have bullets. Yeah, they got guns. And they're one shot. Two. It's one shot to kill them. These are like some little punks. What's up, punk? All right. So I am I am now totally committed to <laughs> staying on the harder difficulty. <laughs> Sorry, Yoshi. <laughs> random guy says hi. What's up, random guy? Welcome to the stream, dude. Okay. So let's save real quick. All right, come out and face me, fools. I'm ready for you. So I got a new pistol. So I got a revolver and I got this new pistol that they drop ammo for. What's over here? These are armor scraps. Sweet. I got a little bit of an armor bar going on. Oh, you can hear him call me names. Oh, crap, they got doggies. Die, doggies. I wonder what the best way to deal with the doggies is. I'm thinking crowbar. Or not. Yeah. Like, just, just burp radiation at you. You hide from behind this box. And as it gets closer, just knife it. Oh, crap. There you go. A fairly effective strategy, I feel like. What's up, peeps? Woo! Die! This game is amazing. I love it already. I haven't even played it much. I knew this mod was going to be amazing. People told me it was good. Whoa! Gotta use, uh, gotta take advantage of cover, too. Yeah. That's why you don't come out from the cover until the coast is clear, little buddy. All right, how many enemies are there? There's 13 out of 73. There's a handful of secrets, too. We'll be, we'll be in, we'll at least try to look out for as many secrets as we can. So, Yoshi, in your opinion, dude, how, uh, how well hidden are, this, are the secrets in this game? Oh, man. Doom Upcoming says, automatically want it back in the corner, probably because I am not used to being in the middle. Maybe we'll get used to it after a while. I don't know. Um, Okay. Well, if nobody's got any preference, back in the corner, we'll go. Uh, or what I'm saying is if Doom Upcoming is the only one who has a preference and you'd rather have it in the corner, that is by f all means fine with me. Westinghouse. Got some armor scraps. All right. Where are you going, wuss? Why you come out here and ask me that in person, buddy? Yeah, who's a wuss now? I'll give you a hint. It's not me. Oh! Woo! Maybe it is a little bit. Aha! Well, he's coming. He's gonna come by any second. All right, he's out of the picture. Um, let's just figure out what else we gotta do now. Cause we clearly got somewhere else to go. Oh, found a secret stash! Let's go, here's one of the secrets. Got some junk. All right, cool. Uh, real quick question. How do we get this door open, I wonder? Warning, there is nothing here worth dying for. Uh, I almost feel like I'm gonna have to end up disagreeing. Oh, wait a minute. I want to keep thinking that shooting those is going to reveal something for me, but it never does. I got some junk. Maybe that was what it was supposed to be. Can't go in there. Okay, guys. So, uh, where exactly do we go from here? Inspect the beginning of the level. I'm not even quite sure how to progress past this point. Maybe I'm supposed to crouch? Crouch, I meant to say. 
can't this this is the secret stash. Oh, maybe going through here open that area back up? I can see that. No. No, it did not. Oh! Switch! I'm totally blind, I didn't even see it. Yoshi says quite. I found at least one in every map, but I did miss a large chunk of them. Ah, okay. Thanks for uh tuning me in. T tuning me in, killing me in? I don't know. Please don't give me a dog to fight. You guys gave me a while ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, good times, right? Die, doggy. Okay. I got myself in a bad situation here. This fool got bullets. This fool got bullets, son. All right, did I save recently? I did. Let me... Let's go back and do a little retry on that. Nice. Ooh, some infighting's going on. They're fighting amongst themselves. Die, doggy. One bullet and a knife. That's what it takes to deal with these things. Or, or maybe two. Cases. Where are you stinky faces at? <laughs> nice. Oh, crap. That destroyed him. You must feel bad. Not that bad, though. Woohoo! Anybody else? I know I hear more of you stinkers around here. Alright, there we go. Mosh Wizards, welcome. He says, Mosh has arrived. Fear no longer. Oh, I was trembling in fear, my friend. Want hints about junk? Sure, Mr. Vest. Tell me the hints about the junk, man. What's the best way to get it? Do I need to slash vending machines or something? I'm still new. I can totally use some. Totally use some tips and tricks. Uh, look at this box. Ooh, there you go. Oh, hold up. We got more. Oh, nice. The dog killed him. Oh, and he's shooting the dog. Sweet. I love infighting. Now I can kill the dog. Cash. Give me cash, baby. No. Lame. There he is. Crap! Just trying to slash it with a knife. Just trying to conserve ammo. I feel like that's important. Unless I'm killing enemies that have ammo, then it doesn't really matter much, does it? Shotgun shells. That'll be helpful when we get a shotgun. Painkillers, thank you. I bet you that button does something important. Ah, it does! It opens this area up. Amazing. All right, there's a whole bunch of area to explore over here. And then we can go back and further this way. All kinds of stuff. Look for secrets and corners. Also, junk is used as currency to buy supplies and craft weapon upgrades. Awesome! We will do our best to... Work on that, then. Uh, da, da, da. Gotta keep an eye out for those little boxes. Because that would be the biggest source of junk, is slashing those apart, I feel like. That plus just finding it freely. Okay, I'm gonna go through this door next. You need a blue access card. I am not going to go through that door next. I'm gonna go find a blue access card. Let's go this way. Walmart? Wow. Wow, okay. Can I jump up on it? I can. Is that going to allow me to... No. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. What about, uh... What about this? Can I go up here? Would I even want to? Probably not. No. Okay, so in that case... Well, this can't be right. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe we need to go up there. Let's see that. Yeah. That must be it. Okay. There it is. That explains. I knew something was off. I knew we had to go somewhere. Huh. Not much out here, but cool. 
Oh, check this building out. And basically nothing's left here. Oh, dude, why would you do that to me? I wasn't done exploring yet. I wanted to go in that area. Oh, oh man. Hey, Cass, 4X going to come do the bathroom dance. I don't know, man. Go ask 4X. Got the heavy bullets. Got the 9mm autoloader. Sweet. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Let's go up here. Whoop. All right, there's got to be some way to get up there, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, what about this way? Can we, like, walk along the top of this or something? It does not seem like it. What about... Can we make, like, a long-running jump, perhaps? Let's try that. Almost. Let's try it again. Jack Eugen says hello to you all. What's up, Jack? Welcome to the stream, dude. Hope you're having a good one. We're doing some... No. I don't think that's going to work. Maybe we can get up this truck and try something somewhere, though. Like, uh... No. Shoot, I have no idea where to go here. Can I move one of these trucks, perhaps? Like Walmart, can I get in and move Walmart? No. Maybe I'm missing another switch, perhaps. Or another door. Well, home defense, nice. Okay, look for a shutter inside. Look for a shutter inside. Oh, a shutter from up there? Oh, okay. I'll try that. A shutter. A shutter. Oh, something like to hop up on. Makes sense. Or not. No way to get into this either. Yeah, I don't see any way to gain access to either of these buildings. Nothing to hop on. Nothing to... Nothing to open. Nothing. Wait a minute. What about... Nope. I gotta quit trying that. It's just not gonna work. 1403, welcome to the stream. He says, hello, bro. What's good, 1403? Jack says, I'm great, too. Uh, you play Duke Nukem games. I do not. I will probably at some point in the future, though. 1403 says, I love Doom. Yeah, you're in good company then, man. When I see these old games, just about cry the quality the old games have versus today. Dude, this is a uh, mod that's based on the old games, and it came out a few years ago. 17 likes. Sweet! Thank you guys for the likes. Of how Kes immediately knifes the shutter I'm referring to, but then assumes it's outside in the area. I don't think you even meant to, you're even meant to be able to get to. Wait. Gonna take this, this shutter? Oh! I see. I'm an idiot. Okay, that makes far more sense. Okay. You open a shutter instead of hopping around on unused sections that you're not supposed to be able to get to. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's that sounds like something I do. To be fair, let's 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 be honest. Okay, guys. So with that done, let's make a new save. Woo! A shooting range. Did I win? Probably not. There's a bottle right here. What happens if I shoot the bottle? I don't know. I don't want to waste the ammo though. I'd, I'd really just rather not. Trying to blow that up, but that didn't quite work out the way I was hoping. Whoop, whoop. Man, he was ready to come after me. Some of these guys have shotguns, for goodness sakes. What a scary thought. Hey, blue key card. Vulture's rule. Eh. Hold up. I gotta jump up here and grab that. Come on, man. I'm trying to grab the thing. 
You're ruining it for me, and it doesn't take bullets to blow it up. It takes destroying things. Oh, there you go. That works. In a manner of speaking. Whoa! Nice. Hope you and your stupid dog die, son. There we go. All right, guys. I'd say that went fairly well. We got the blue access card now. We got some bullets. I don't know what's behind this door. Hope you guys are ready, because we're going to find out. Oh, there's more enemies. Who would have guessed? Also, hidden shotgun, I think, the cash register. Oh, really? We'll go and we'll check. I just picked one up. Oh, wait. That actually might have been the one I picked up. I to. Ooh, this guy's ready. He knows what's up. He knows what he wants. I still haven't really used the shotgun yet, have I? Not really. The bottle that I broke? How about breaking a computer? No? Nothing? Aw. What about this filing cabinet? Can I play a game on the computer? Max, sick. Plisk and sick, Eli getting the sud out of Dodge. You are all fired. <laughs> Excuse me, getting the F out of Dodge, apparently. I actually have heard that expression before, I just don't remember what it means. I think it's like a rapper expression or something. Anyway, what, this is discolored. This is discolored, surely that means it's a secret, right? Or alternatively not. I feel like it is though. It's just not. Okay. Anyway. Wait, Cassius called yourself an idiot. I, I did. This is called a great game or a movie like Mad Max style. It's cool looking. I will say that. I like the graphic style of this. How about breaking the computer? Just don't think about that. Well, I. I don't know, man. I really want to see if there's any goodies in it. I broke a bottle at least. Oh, hey, I can get in here. Sweet, I can destroy all this. Oh, hey. It's the same on the back. I guess they just flip them around when they're done. Except for the fact they got all those bullet holes. Wow, look at the wasteland, guys. Check it out. Okay, um, something rules. It's too blurry to read. Try to open this up. Nothing in here but little bugs. Didn't you guys say that there was a shotgun under the register, or did I already find it? Oh! Never mind! That was something totally different. Sweet! Hey, thanks for uh, telling me about that, dude. I had no idea that secret was there. This old radio's gotta be worth something. Maybe oh, I can talk! Sweet! I didn't know that. That's awesome. Guys, look how much money I have. I have like $145 worth of junk. Hope that's a lot. What did that switch do? Guys, I opened something and I have no idea what I opened. Oh! Apparently a door that was that little dude out. Apparently that's what I opened. I'm just hang out here in the kitchen. Destroy you fool. There we go. Anything else in here worth getting? Bring here some more people. Hey there, baby. Nice. Okay, guys, with that done, let's hop out here, grab some more ammo. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I did not see him in the corner. I think he missed, though. Mostly. Nothing new out here, okay. All right, let's see what this area opened up. Ooh, a whole new little, whole new little bit, 51 out of 73. All right, we're making moves, we're making progress. Good stuff. That computer is like a Pentium 2. Um, it probably is. It's a tad strange to see a Glock with, with poor accuracy. In most games I play that have them, they tend to be very accurate. That's true. That is true. Look closer at the desk. Which desk, man? Uh, are you talking about this desk? Or do you mean the computer desk? Which desk are you referring to? You mean the computer desk? I'm gonna have to go back upstairs. Wait, where is the computer? Oh, here it is. A little closer at the desk, you said. Oh! 
No way! Hey! A secret stash, son. Oh, hey, thanks, dude. I never would have found this again if you hadn't mentioned it. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, Moss Nielsen, welcome to the stream, man. So I appreciate you letting me know about the secrets. The Master King, 017, welcome. He says, Doom 2 has a lot of mods. Yes, it does, sir. <coughs> mm, excuse me. If you want to see a list of all the different mods I'm going to cover on the channel, uh, check it out. It's linked down below in the, at the very bottom of the description in a PDF file linked on Google Drive. So there's about a thousand plus different mods that we're going to go through. Some of which I've already done. Some for Doom 1, but like you said, mostly for Doom 2. All right, and with that done, let's be, uh-oh. So where is this dude coming from? Nice. Oh, look who knows what's up, man. So yeah, he's coming out of just, these guys are just coming out of nowhere. Coming at me with the shotgun. It's like I just go upstairs for a moment. They're probably just coming down from through here. Let me uh, save again. Right. Go take everybody out. Once again, I'm glad for this ammo I have. What's this? I have no idea what that is. Ooh. That doesn't do anything. Pity. What about this vent up top? Would do something? Probably. Oh, dude, I'm trying to get into the vent. Why are you ruining my life? All right, so we're gonna hop in that vent, guys. You ready for it? Okay. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Yeah, that's me. Painkillers, they help with reality, right? I mean, look, we got armor, we got health, we're playing on Apocalypse difficulty. It's working out for us, guys. Dune 2 has a lot of mods, I'm gonna buy it. You should, dude, you should. You can get endless hours of content from the mods alone. It's pretty stinking sweet. Well, this is cool. There's another vent system over there. There's so many little vent systems. Oh, yeah, I can go down this room. So what about this other one? I'm gonna go check out what's in that room, but first, Oh, I can't go past that. Oh. Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna drop down this room, catch them all by surprise. Whoop. Hey, dummies. What's good? Oh, where am I going? I'm going nowhere. I'm just chilling out in here until I destroy your faces. Stupid dog. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Talk about stupid dogs. Whoop! Got him. Yeah, I got a shotgun too. You all know that, right? Boom! There we go. Anybody else? Yep, one more. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Too bad that wasn't a secret. You would have thought the vent thing would have been a secret, wouldn't you? Oh, they didn't pull him up? Dummy. Die. All right. There was a Doom poster in that last secret. There was. There was one at the uh, tutorial level, too. So that was the only reason I wasn't as amazed, because I'd already seen it. <laughs> but yeah, cool little Easter egg. Okay, so... I'm just never anything in the lockers. Tisk tisk. Uh, I'll tell you what. Backtrack, see if we can find any extra stuff. Oh. This is as far as we can go, okay. Oh, I can go back out. So that's where, whoop. Get a little headshot. Headshots don't really matter in Doom much, do they? What a cool mod. This is awesome. Oh man, you guys were right about me liking Ashes 2063. This is this is fabulous. This is just great. Where's this go? Ah, that opens that door from back here. Okay, that would be the correct way, I guess, of getting in here instead of dropping down from the vent. But hey, going through the vent got us some of that extra stuff, didn't it? Get some extra bullets now for the shotgun. Okay, so with that done. Where are we gonna go? Which headset do you have, dude? Which headset do I have? That is a good question, man. Let me look that up real quick for you. 
Uh, this is an audio. Oh, wait a minute. It's written on the headset. I'm such an idiot. Okay. Audio Technica Air ATH AD700X. So, ATH AD700X. So, this right here, Audio Technica. Yeah, this right here. You can get it on Amazon and stuff. So that's what headset I have. I love it too. It's very comfortable, which is good because I have to wear a headset for many hours at a time as a streamer. And it's got great audio quality. So, and it's not too expensive. It's it's under a hundred bucks. So, uh, no problems, at least the ones I remember. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. So, because I'm a new player, you know, I don't know none of the secrets. Okay, so we're going to hop on that vid, guys. Imposter found him. Yep. Whoa! Yeah, absolutely. A bloody imposter. COVID sucks, makes me feel tired, and eating is a struggle. I bet. Did you lose your sense of... Oh, boy. Oh, crap. I got an awkward position there. Yeah, dude, did you lose your uh, sense of taste and smell by any chance? I wanted to knife that guy so bad, and I did. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, thank you. Dang, nabbit. It was the worst time to reload my gun. It was just instinctive, too. Got some food. I'm okay, though. I'm still making it up. All right, yeah, I'm doing uh, not too shabby, guys. Oh. Oh, hey. It's making junk. Or bullets. It's making bullets is what it's making. Guys, I got a bullet machine. Making bullets for the revolver, I guess. Probably is it done. I think that's it, yeah. All right, sweet. We got a few little bit of bullets. It's just going to... But it has it. It's still going, guys. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Uh, where do we go from here? I guess we go up this way. Yeah, we do. Uh-oh, I can hear people. Unless that's the music. I like the music a lot. Okay, does it have a microphone or you can talk with them? No, it does not have a microphone. So these are just headphones only. If you want like a regular headset with like a built-in mic, you'll probably want to get something else. So I have like a dedicated Blue Yeti mic, so I don't, I didn't really need one. That's why I specifically got these was just because I didn't need an extra microphone. Okay, my sense of taste and smell are fine actually, maybe a little different from normal. Well, that's good anyway. I had COVID a few months ago, did you man? Yeah, it sucks. I'm thankful I didn't ever get it. Cass, what do you think about monitors gaming with G-Sync and FreeSync? What monitors good on for gaming a day? Dude, I have a FreeSync monitor. Now, it doesn't have the built-in FreeSync module, but it's like, it's one of those monitors that's like V-Sync, but it's G-Sync compatible, right? Through like software emulation. And it works great. I love it. It's it's like an LG 850GL or something like that. Um, and yeah, it works great. It's really good at like reducing stuttering and frame and like screen tearing. And the weird thing is I never really noticed any of that being an issue until I actually tried it out, right? Until I tried out a G-Sync monitor and I'm like, oh, this looks so much better. It fixed a problem I didn't even realize was a problem. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. Oh, I don't like that. The sound just totally changed. Oh, 73. We killed all, all the enemies, guys. Oh, so this is the end of the level. Sweet. Oh, nice. 100% kills, 78% items, and 60% secrets. So we missed a couple. All right, cool. So there you go, guys. An hour in, we did the tutorial level and the first actual level. Mm. Doom Upcoming says, how do you get your Blue Yeti sounding that good? Mine sounds kind of like a built-in phone mic. Dude, let me explain you the secrets of my audio configuration, okay? So first off, I have the gain turned down right about as low as it'll go. I have in control panel and sounds, I have the level set to 90, so it's not worry, having to worry about peaking quite so much, right? But the main thing is I have kind of like a little digital soundboard here in Adobe Audition, and I have these effects over here. See, hard limiter, parametric equalizer, multiband compressor. I have all these effects added, and it makes the microphone sound totally different and more fresh, more live, more in the room, right? Let me show you what it sounds like without it. Totally different, right? Nowhere near as good, more flat sounding. It's just not great. So yeah, it makes a big difference. You wouldn't think so, but it does. So if you um, if you need 
to, if you want to like install this and set up for yourself, uh, reach out to me on Discord. I'll send you a link to a tutorial video that I use to figure this out. And uh, I'll send you a link to Adobe Audition as well. All right, let's get back to uh, the game, shall we? Um, am I going to be able to? Hold on a second. I don't have, uh, don't seem to have control of my mouse anymore. Wait a minute. Alt, control, delete. There we go. All right, I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, nope, still don't have control of it. There you go. All right, take us a second. We got it. All right. Anyway, so monitor with FreeSync are great too. Yeah, so, so here's the thing, dude. FreeSync monitors is for AMD. G-Sync is for NVIDIA. So it used to be you'd have to go out and buy your monitor and match it to your GPU, which was annoying. But then NVIDIA changed their policy to allow G-Sync um, compatibility with V-Sync monitors. And then they started like going through and um, certifying certain ones as compatible. So yeah. By the way, cats, when we have another reaction video. Uh, those aren't planned, really, Starlight. Those are more just kind of like special occasion things. Oh, hold up. With my prize secured, I made my escape. Another worthless trinket in hand. Yet another vow to myself to get myself out of this business for good. It won't be difficult to get the old radio working. I know a trader who might be willing to do it for me. Maybe even pay to take it off my hands. Of course, nothing's ever that easy. My ride is running low on gas, and the closest place I'll find any is deep in gang territory. I'll wait for nightfall before I go in. Maybe I'll have a tinker with this radio. All right, exciting stuff, guys. So we secured the radio, which apparently is what we went over here to get, and that's when we had a little bit of audio dialogue. And we got back on our motorcycle, and, uh... What was all that about? Wow, okay, so we got a little bit of interception of the radio. 92 monsters and six secrets on this second level here. I love the music. Okay, so there's gang territory, guys. We're trying to get some more gas for our motorbike um, so that we can go back to our base, I guess. All right, so uh, yeah, reaction, anyway, like I was saying, reaction videos are just kind of like the occasional uh, special occasion thing on the channel. So. It'll be at some point later in the future in an undisclosed place and time. So I can hop on this and ride it, right? I can. I can ride this around the level. Sweet. Is it going to hurt my fuel reserve or anything? I don't think so. It'll definitely make getting around the level a little bit easier. Maybe. Maybe not. Um. Oh, I'm supposed to go over this way. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Fred Boy, welcome. He says, how do old games seem better than some modern games? Uh, made with more care, really. So, especially little indie projects. I think I'll keep some money to buy a monitor with 240 or 280 hertz. See how the game will work. Awesome, man. Hope you enjoy your high refresh rates. I have uh, 144 FPS on mine, and it's 1440p resolution. So, Yoshi says, I can't hear Markiplier anymore without being reminded of Meat Canyon. What is Meat Canyon? Sam, welcome to stream. He says, Man in Space with Markiplier Part 2 is something else. Is it really? Hmm. All right, cast when I hear the soundtracks from these old games, I feel so old. Um, when they play, I feel like I missed my childhood games. I bet, man. All right, guys. Let's uh, be on our way, shall we? We need to take it nice and careful so we don't get hurt on this motorbike. This is cool. I like this a lot. Gangs are definitely going to be coming for us, though. It's only a matter of time. Okay, I'm going to hop off here and look around. Notice how eerie the music is. I'm also looking for secrets, just in case. Oh, man. Let's hop off this way. Hop off. Hop up. That makes more sense. Ooh. Hey, we're on a rooftop. Ooh, that was a bit of a jump. I probably shouldn't have done that. Big ol' oof. Huh. Apparently we're still good. Let me go grab my motorbike and bring it back over this way. Oh boy. I love the uh this level design. Just the look and feel of everything. Even the sky. Oh crap. Okay. We good? Yeah, we're good. Let's 
once we go around that a little bit more this time. Oh boy. What have we got in here? Oh, this is dark looking, guys. Oh, I'll bet you anything we're about to end up getting attacked like nobody's business if we go in here. Oh, I am not looking forward to this. All right, here we go. Can you drive the cars? I cannot. Cars are all broken down and out of gas. Have been for many years. Only the bike, my friend. Here's a lantern. This is like, uh, this is what Yoshi was talking about when he said we needed the lantern. All right, I feel like we're about to get jumped, so let's go ahead and save real quick. Maybe not. Oh, hey, what do you know? Oh, hey. Hey. Woo! Here's a gang. I don't think these are cannibals. I think it's just a gang. Maybe they are cannibals. Who cares? They're enemies. We gotta take them out. Whoop, whoop, whoop. They're guards or somebody. Nice. All right, we got some junk, guys. Got about 175 bucks, I dare say. Sweet. You're entering red territory. This is so creepy, and I love it. Okay, we gotta save again. All right. Hop off, this Starlight. It's not GTA. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of GTA, we're doing a GTA stream tomorrow. It's for San Andreas. Nice. I love GTA, and I love Doom. So, this mod reminds me more of, like, the Duke Nukem aesthetic, though, more than anything else. Oh, wow, there's a lot to explore. Got some junk, thank you. No pets, fluids, fires, or uh, allowed. Oh, allowed is what it says, okay. Anything in the washing machine? Nope. Hello? Any old, any old uh, hobos up here? A little bit? Okay. There's a lantern burning here. Some leather armor. We got a hundred armor now. That's awesome. Some heavy bullets. Thank you. Got some food. What the hell is here in the bathtub? Some poor old sap, apparently. Got this to interact with. Anything interesting here? Nope. Okay, then. Let's continue. I gotta be honest, I'm fighting to stay awake. I've been trying to take frequent naps, but so often do I have peace disturbed by family phoning me to ask if I need anything or want food. Ah, uh, yes, Yoshi. The well-meaning, but sometimes more troublesome than helpful family members. Oh, crap! Yeah. I, I get that, man. It's a part of being sick. It's like you really appreciate that they're there and they want to help you, but at the same time, you just kind of want to be left alone for a little bit. I understand that, my friend. Well, hopefully you can uh, take a little nap and get some rest. Star White says not allowed. I could ride the bike however dang much I please. And I stinking will, too. There, you disgusting little critter. Come over here and face me. Nice. All right, let's save again, guys. Hello. Got some food. All right, so we're back through here. Did I miss anything? I didn't go down this way. Trying to stink and conserve that ammo. It's not easy. Uh oh. Oh, cool. There's so much to this area. Like, look around it and stuff. Look for goodies. Like, good crap. Wow. 
<laughs> the motel roof over there. Of course, this is the motel, isn't it? In a manner of speaking. That's the uh, the garage of the motel, I, I guess. All right, there's a truck. There's this whole thing. Let's save again. Can we open this up? No. Can't do nothing about that. All right. Well, already been through there. I guess uh, we're gonna start over in this area. Oh crap, here's the cannibals. Here's the bloody cannibals, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have thunk it? They got dogs, too. They love their little doggies, don't they? Dummies. Get me, idiot. Oh, he was gonna not go down. Stick, you stupid dog! You're destroying my face! Quit it! Oh, there you go. There's another cannibal. Die, cannibal. Oh, I used up most of my ammo, you dirty little thing. Should have hit it, just hit him with the crowbar. Would have been effective. Maybe. Alright, guys, I guess we're all good, aren't we? We only want to count how many times Kess says crap. Yeah, I, I bet you do, dude. Okay. So, I saved recently, so let's try that again. Maybe see how many times, uh, maybe see if we can do a little bit better about not dying and using up all our ammo. Pidgey 3. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's a, it's a cool FX, X kid alt. Somebody please, uh, somebody please get rid of that. Ugh. One of the mods. Okay. Starlight says, dummies and Dodge's army. Yep. The aesthetic similarity between Ashes 2063 and the build engine games like Shadow Warrior or Duke Nukem is no coincidence. Ashes takes direct inspiration from those titles. Nice. Good stuff, man. All right, so... Let's go... Try this again. I'm going to save like right here. Yeah, that makes sense though, dude, that they would try to do that. It's it's great though, because like I said, I love the aesthetic. I probably enjoy playing those games when I get around to them as well. Okay, we did much better this time. Far less bullets wasted. Crap. Far less health wasted too. Anybody else? There's one. Stupid cannibal. Die. Hey, 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 hey. Boom! I got more shotgun ammo than I do pistol right now. How funny is that? We got this. We got this. But yeah, that was a much better attempt at what I was trying to do. Uh, we'll save again. You need a blue access card. Sweet. Okay, apparently there are no mods in chat. You know what, Yoshi? Today is your lucky day, buddy. You are now a mod. I would say make your first act ban Pidgey 3, but um, I went ahead and did it for you. All right. Need blue access card. Oh, hey, check this out. Oh, the, the, the cannibal didn't die. He didn't die. Oh, a little bug. That's that's about it. Okay, there any more, are there any more cannibals in here? There's a cannibal dog. Tell you what, you dumb dog. Get crowbarred, son. Get crowbarred. Well, I can't use my gun at, or my knife at the same time. There you go. That worked. Okay. Good deal. Yoshi says, "Nah, Wamal. Oh, you, you don't want to be a, a mod." Well, okay then. Sudden promotion I asked for. Sweet. I have no idea how to do mod stuff. It's it's pretty simple, dude. You you tap somebody's name and then you put either put user in timeout, which makes them not be able to send a message for five minutes, or you hit hide user from this channel, which bans them. So, if you don't want the position, I'll give it to Doom Upcoming instead. Doom Upcoming says congrats, Ed Rangers 19. It's a Doom mod. Yep. Welcome to the stream, Ed Rangers. Is this a new game game cast? Because it looks like Doom. Yeah, it's a, it's a Doom mod. But it's it's like a total conversion, so it's basically like its own game, but like made is on the using Doom as a base. So it's pretty sweet. But yes, if you uh, 
if you're looking for very doom similar gameplay, this is exactly what you do here. Okay, so these guys are still coming at me. I get his liver. I get his liver. I get his liver. Okay, no, you don't either, son. It is your stupid dog. All right, yeah, come over here and get me. Face me, dummy. Oh, he's, he's ready to face me. He was ready, son. He wasn't wasting no time. Die, dog. Okay, kill the dog. Hey! Super energy. Amazing. All right. I was trying to say knob him out of the cool effects kit all. Oh! Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> How many levels does this game have, says Starlight? Um, I'm not sure, dude, if I re remember correctly, I think it has 15 in episode one, and then four additional ones added through the Dead Man Walking DLC. I have no idea how many are in episode two, which is Ash's Afterglow. So Yoshi could probably tell you better, because he played this recently, or at least started on it anyway. Kirok says he's back, yep. Hey, Cass, how's the game treat- this treating me? Oh, it's- it's doing great, man. I'm enjoying this a lot. This is awesome. Okay, so the toilets have nothing for me, but at least we got a little bit of junk. Oh, check this out. Hey, found a secret stash! Ooh, what's this? I got a jackhammer. What the stink is a jackhammer? Is it a flamethrower? I think it's a chainsaw, actually. Oh, and it has ammo. I guess it's like a battery. Sweet. I can't I can't pick the weed plants. What a pity. Oh well. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll use this as well. So what slot does it occupy in the wheel? Ah, number one. So use that instead of the crowbar then. Sweet, so that's like a little temporary upgrade, I guess. Very, very nice. We'll use that should we need to, which we probably will. Oh! I just didn't expect it to be that soon. Okay, is there, is there any way I saved recently? Oh, look, I did. Good, good deal. <laughs> I, I, I'm already envisioning a good handful of clips from this series ending up in a clip operation. Just, just a, just a feeling, you know. Where you'd get 15, where'd you get 15 from? This is standard nine map game episode. Oh, okay. I don't know where I got 15 from, dude. Oh, what the hell? What are, they, are they making... Are they making fried, uh... Fried crispy critter there? Is that what they're doing? Stink, son. Feel sorry for the last Doom Marine who went through here. Oh, I'm back outside now. Oh. Um, isn't there more to it than that? There is. It's just further back this way. TGIF. I, I don't know what that stands for. I'm very curious, though. There you go. All right, guys. I have a feeling there's gonna be a good handful of enemies behind this. You need a bronze staff key. Oh, okay. Let's go look for the bronze staff key, then. So this is only standard nine levels, then. All right, so we might actually get through this in just like an episode or two for this series. Was that the song from the Hunter Games? I, or from the Hunger Games. Oh, I don't know, man. I have no idea where the soundtrack is from. So actually, no, I think, wait a minute. Actually, it says in the description, hold up. Yeah, I wrote it in the description earlier. Uh, an absolute banger of a soundtrack by Kako Award winning musician, John S. Weekly. So that's who did the soundtrack for this game. So that's kind of cool. So I need a bronze staff key. Now where the stink am I gonna find a bronze staff key from? Also, are there any more secrets underneath the cash registers by any chance? Destroy these bottles. Stink, yeah. I suppose they hit it in the women's restroom, do you? I'm gonna go out in a limb and say probably not. Well, stink, okay. Uh, Still need a blue access card. Crap, guys, I don't know where any of this stuff is. I'm the faintest clue, and I've been like through all these different rooms and stuff, too. Guess I'm missing it. Uh, let's keep looking. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. I did go through this vent system. Did I miss something in here? 
No, that was the little special weapon is what that was. was a, that was like one of the six little secrets. You think it would have something to do with this, wouldn't you? But no, I guess it doesn't. <laughs> Got a knife, can't pick that up. Oh, there it is. I knew it had to be somewhere. Got the food. It was just an extra little cat pantry though. That didn't give you, didn't give me a key or anything. A blue access card and a bronze staff key. Nothing's here in this locker room either. This is where you think it'd be. Okay, whoops. Hold up guys, I messed up chat on my screen. Let's fix that real quick, why don't we? Whoop. Okay, 19 likes, dang. Oh, that is a lot, thank you guys. He's referring to the strange whir whistling noise heard when he picked up the jackhammer. Oh, that's what he meant. That might be from the Hunger Games, I don't know. My bad, man. Glad Yoshi knew what you meant. I was a little confused, clearly. All right, so. I haven't been over here yet. There's a whole nother little section I've been, I haven't even messed with, so that explains it. All right, so this pistol's almost out of ammo. This one has plenty of ammo. And it's, I actually like it a little bit better. It's probably a good deal. Nice. All right, we're doing good, guys. Even for Apocalypse difficulty. I can't complain, do not serve. Aw, I feel discriminated. Hey, look, I want this t-shirt though, man. Maybe just one time. Maybe just this one time. What do you say, Cannibal? One time? Yeah. See, Cannibal agrees. Come on, come on, man. Don't be shy. Come out of the back. Ring me up. I want the Kako long sleeve. Okay, I'm gonna wear it on stream. Pretty. Pl it'll make so. It'll make like eight people happy. Come on, please. No. Oh, okay. Well. Time to steal it. Right. Okay. No. No. <laughs> let's let's quit, quit fooling around. Grab some junk. Okay. There you go. There, uh, uh, that was a dead bug. I don't want that. You keep that one. Hope oh, I'm gonna get ambushed. Employees only. I'm definitely gonna get ambushed. Hold up. Oh! See, I told you. They're very serious about enforcing that employee stuff, guys. That's how you know. Wow, I'm destroying that little dog. Come here, cannibal. There we go. Ooh, close. Okay. Nice. 32 out of 92 enemies. We're only like a third of the way through kill-wise. There's tons more. Got a box of heavy bullets. I think that's for this gun in particular. So that's good to know. Definitely not that one. Ooh. All right, guys. So we've been streaming this for about an hour and a quarter. I hope you guys have been enjoying this. I've been having a blast. This is awesome. Ugh. All right, let's continue. I thought we might see another one of these guys. No, crap. When did I last save? Very recently. Before opening this door, in fact. All right, good thing. Because I was clearly not ready to fight this guy. Whoops. There we go. Now I'm ready. Painkillers, okay. So no, uh... Hmm. No, uh, no secrets, no keys, no nothing back here. Right, here's an interesting little couple of areas. I don't like the whirring noise it made when I tried to open that door. Come here, doggy. Dang, nabbit, you stupid dog. Hope you die. Oh, red key? Oh, that was a bronze key. Bronze staff key, excuse me. My bad, guys. All right, so we got the bronze key. So let's go, not this. We need to open this area up. Go back in here. All right, here we go. Here we go, son. 
The actual soundtrack is just synth wave goodness from start to finish. If you listen carefully, you can hear certain sections of songs from Doom 2 and even TNT Evolution in some songs. That's cool. Okay, I have to do something with this. You need to look at it for fun. What are you talking about, Starlight? 1 a.m., gotta go. All right, have a good one, man. Jackhammer slash blunt chainsaw. Just curious, you're doing Afterglow next. Yes. Well, okay, okay. We're doing um, 2063 episode one. Then we're gonna do the dead man walking portion, and then we're doing Afterglow. So yes, we absolutely are, the whole thing. Of course, we have been enjoying this. It is a cast stream, what's not to like? I'm glad you've been enjoying it, Doom. All right, secret and last cubicle, I think. Secret and last cubicle? Oh, let me backtrack then, dude. Hold up, guys, there's a secret in the last cubicle. I didn't know that, thank you, dude. For the info cubicle, that's not what you meant. You meant, uh, you meant this, right? It was glass. Oh, stink, dude. You're right. Found a secret stash. I did. Projector and crap. Oh, look at the ladies. Oh, cool. Ooh. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, my. That calendar. All right, here we go. Here we go. And I can. Oh, and now I can go outside. And the TV means nothing. Okay. All right, well, good deal, man. Thanks for the, uh, for the assistance. Okay, guys, back over to what we were doing. So, I've said this on Discord, but I recognize that Ashes 2063 is good, maybe even very good game by my opinion towards it, is stained by my general dislike of post-apocalyptic fiction. Oh, I didn't know that, Yoshi. I didn't know you dislike post-apocalyptic fish, fi um, fiction. So I'm guessing Fallout, Rage, stuff like that, not not really your your game of choice. Not shot at immediately. Surprising. Okay, well the cannibals immediately went after the uh, the guy with the shotgun, so that's interesting. Get destroyed, idiot. Anybody else? Not immediately, no. Okay. Gotta be a handful of these little stinkers somewhere. Let's see all the way back there. Oh boy, more doggies. More doggos. Did I not open this? I cannot. Oh, okay. I was I was not at all prepared for that. Let's. Let's go back for a second, pull out the shotgun. Yeah, now I'm prepared for it. Stupid dogs. Oh crap, I didn't realize there would be this much reloading! Oh crap, this is this is a serious boss fight, boys. I think you'll like Fallen Rage. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I will, dude. I like post-apocalyptic stuff. Yoshi, maybe not, but your boy Cass, totally. Okay, that's totally my game. Right, we gotta reload accordingly. We gotta hop around a little bit. We gotta use this up close and personal. Circle strafe like you do. Okay, there's there's a time. Woo! Okay, that's not an area you want to get stuck up in. Nope. Yeah, this is this is a good example of a time where you don't want to be like overly cheap and conservative with the ammo. You want to use it. You want to use it and abuse it like there's no tomorrow until you're down to about like one guy like this one and then you just want to just do that you know we got an ammo for this gun again at least so gg guys not a bad little uh ambush there was a lot of them they didn't leave us any any goodies to grab got a box heavy bullets at least i got some armor fragments i'll take it oh Crap, that was scary. That was unexpected more than anything else. Okay, just a little bit of pure terror, you know. Oh, oh, <laughs> the poor driver. Yeah, no, uh... Okay, anything back here that's gonna pop out and say hello? No, okay. 
At least we're getting armor and junk and food and whatnot. Dead bugs. I feel like something would come and attack me after I pick that up, but nope. Now we're good. We are good, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go through the trash and just double check we got everything we can get. I'm sure there's plenty more goodies to pick up. Whew, okay. Particularly Fallout's variety. The setting and aesthetic just don't do anything for me. Oh, uh, okay. Well, fair enough, man. Hey, this might this might be a funny story for you, though. Uh, back when I had just finished, like, Saints Row and was working on Agents of Mayhem, and I knew that series would be done soon, so I made a poll, and I was like, hey, um, I'm going to do a new series on the channel. Here are the three games, top three games. You guys pick, right? The choices were, get this, Doom, Fallout, and Stardew Valley. You can obviously see which one won. I could not get into Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that. So, which, the thing about New Vegas is it's like one of those games that everybody just loves and loves. So, all right, machine gun would be nice. Wouldn't it, though? Like a nice, a nice stinking assault rifle? I should have used the chainsaw more, but I just kind of forgot about it, to be honest with you. But that would have been a smart move. All right, well, uh, 55 out of 92, we're about halfway there. Still plenty of stuff to use the chainsaw on. Oh, okay. Nice, he's fighting with the dog. Yeah, fight with the dog, man. Kill the doggy. I'll take this guy out in the meantime. I shouldn't, I shouldn't just uh, abuse it like that. I should wait till they get a little closer. Not just free fire with it when they're not even in range. For goodness sakes. Don't hold, have my finger held down, basically, is what I'm saying. Uh, oh, okay. Isn't that a switch? I can't quite tell. Maybe. Pop up in this fire that doesn't hurt me for some reason. No, it's not a switch. It's like a, a stain, maybe. Stain on my soul. No. The amount of times you're getting jump scared this stream. I know, right? It's a little ridiculous, I can't lie. Oh well. Ooh! Hey, here's another gang. Waiting for us. Less, less the cannibal variety and more the bikers with guns and an attitude variety. I mean, to be fair, dude, wouldn't you be jump scared too if you saw a cannibal hop out at you? That would scare anybody. So, your mom included. Can't interact with that. No snacks. No snacks. No maidens either. There's some snacks just lying around. Uh, anything of note? Not really. See that little stinker? I see him. I'm coming for you, buddy. Hope you're ready to die today. It's happening. Hey, you can tell your shotgun or buddy I said hi. Oh, wait. Hey! Yep, told you. I tried to warn him, guys. I was nice about it. Hey, found a secret stash of pipe bombs. Pipe bombs, no less. All right. Very nice. I like it. Uh -oh. I knew there'd be enemies back here. Whoop! I think it would be like that kind, but all right. Oh, it's a toilet. Okay. Don't know what I'm supposed to get out of that experience, but sh ooh. A vent. We have a vent to explore, ladies and gentlemen. Off we go. Off we go to explore the vent. You want a classic jump scare game, Fatal Frame 2 for PS2. I swear it will scare you. Oh, yeah? I know FNAF is an often over-hated, like, scared, slice jump scare type game, but uh, I enjoyed it for what it was worth. I only ever played the first two, though. I still gotta play the rest of them. Oh boy. Ooh. It almost looks like there's a fog on the floor. Maybe it's just my imagination or it's dirty or something. Uh, health and safety. Screw with the booze. I screw with your face. Oh my. Stinks, son. So what? They are not messing around. Alright, let's destroy all the booze before anybody gets any ideas. Um, yeah, and especially this one. Okay. Come on, man. The inspector's almost here. Come on. Here we go. All right, Inspector. Lovely to see you. Ooh. It's a pattern, ladies and gentlemen. We have to figure out the pattern here. Huh.
There you go. Why did that blow up exactly? I don't know. Oh! Okay, apparently that. Apparently that's what it blew up. Oh, okay, wow. That was interesting. Uh huh. Huh. Uh, bullets. Painkillers. That sounds like I'm gonna have to fight a whole group of baddies again. Alright, let's save again, guys. Uh, Cash, you've played Fatal Frame 2? No, sir. I didn't have a game console or anything growing up. I just played uh, games on, like, a computer. Just like my parents' work computer, and they were very selective of what I could and couldn't play. So I don't have a big backlog of games that I've played. Cash, yeah, to be honest, I would. Okay. Nice, man. All right, anyway. Yoshi says, I really wish I'd get PCSX2 running on a decent frame on my PC. I've never played Burnout 3 Takedown, and goodness do I want to. Well, hopefully you'll get a chance at some point, dude. Hmm. Is there any component in your PC that you know is holding you back? Only thing I like about FNAF nowadays is the lore. Oh, yeah? Okay, that's fair enough. So it does have some interesting lore to it. All right, let's go, uh... Oop, oop. No, actually, yeah. Change my mind again. Let's go this way. All right, I know there's got to be some stinkers around here, so let's look out. Be real careful in a word. The red key, right? Oh, never mind, you don't. This is the area where we were at earlier. We used to open that gate up. Cool. I love how this, like, takes effort to, like, wink back old areas to new ones as you continue. That was some really good game design. Oh, crap. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to go to grab those, and as soon as I do, that door's going to open, and they're going to fly out at my face. Oh, I was wrong. Are you can actually see the dead bodies in there. Ooh, wait! Oh! Crap, here's some cannibals right here. Hello, you stupid cannibal. Go die. Yes. It is crash. Oh. He's still not ready. He's still not ready to be done. Okay. There you go. Anybody else? Oh, here's one. Eat his flesh. Nice. Save game again. Da 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 da. Eat his flesh. Oh, crap. I was doing good, too. I had, like, 60-plus health. Come back, dummy. Nice. Dog's dead. Cannibal's dead. Good deal. Anybody else? You done? Nope, oh, there's some more. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, crap! Oh, hold up. We got a reload on that. Didn't work out exactly how I wanted it to. I'm making this unnecessarily difficult on myself to even conserve an ammo. Boom. Maybe I should. Maybe it gets progressively harder later. I don't really know. Okay, well, have fun with that, dude. Can't we at least be, try to be friends first? I'll help you get some good food. We'll, we'll, we'll cook up your dog real good, man. There's a kitchen back there. Looks like he could be tasty if you sponge some of the radiation first. Hey, man, I got some shotgun shells. It's a shame to not use them, you know? <laughs> All right, let's try using the radio real quick. That does nothing. Good to know. I got a medical pack if I need it, so we'll save those for later. Medical kits, I should say. So, two of them, in fact. Oh. Well, isn't that interesting? I wonder how we're going to end up getting up there. What do you guys think? Obviously, that's got to happen some way. Uh, come on. Uh, nope. Can't go that way on my own. Not not regular-like, anyway. Hold up. Am I missing anything else? Do I have any other options or places to go to? I don't want to restrict myself too much now. Well, no. No, I guess that was pretty much the only place to go, wasn't it? I don't know. I'll have to make sure I'm not messing anything. There's a lantern there. There's an American flag. Tattered. But still waving. Can't go in there. Alright. Uh, Yoshi says, if I had to pick out any two components, 
maybe my processor an i5-7400 and RAM just 8 gigabytes. Mr. Vest says that's so sad. Um, the low, the 8 gigs might hurt you. The processors, that's actually a fairly powerful one. It's only a few years old. Um, Steve says, what's GPU? Yeah, that's great level design, Cass. It is. It is, Steve. It is solid, solid level design. I like it a lot. All right, let's go around this way, because it's, uh... I oh! You. oh! Crap! I did not see that coming. Yeah. Wow, I'm not doing very well, am I? <laughs> Uh, let's get our bullets back. Or our pistol back out, or I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not, uh... Definitely not knifing those guys. They're too far up. Oh, I can climb this. I'm an idiot. I could have knifed them if I was of a mind. Oh, that's how you get up here, too. You need to open this up. You need a gold security key. What odd color choices they have in this. Bronze, gold. I guess I gotta... Oh, that's how we get up here. Nice. On air. Oh, that's the security key. Oh, hey! One, two, two, one. One, two, two, one. One, two, two, one. Okay, remember that, guys, because we might need that later. That might be a code or something. One, two, two, one. Good thing to, to uh, remember, you know? Oh boy, all right. So, da, da, da. Yish says I've yet to have my GPU let me down a major way. Surprisingly, GTX 1050. I can run Doom 4 just fine, but does set my PC's fans away. Quite noisy. That's a, that's a, was a decent GPU for the time, but if I had to choose one thing holding you, well, I don't know. What would it be, a PC, a PCSX2? Would it be more the graphics card or the processor? I don't know. I really haven't spent much time with PS2 and a bleh, PS2 emulation to say one way or another. So, okay. Good deal, then, Yoshi. Troy Harris, welcome to the stream. He says, what's up, Kess? I was having trouble with my lungs, but I'm doing good now, so I decided to come join the stream. I'm sorry you're having trouble, man, but I'm glad you're doing good now. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'd upgrade your RAM 16, upgrade your graphics. He's probably waiting until prices go down if I had to make a guess. Because, uh... Um, what's it called? Stuff's a little... Well, it's not... It's going down a little bit. It's getting better. Looky here, boys. We've got ourselves a bit of a hive one. Let's get him! I oh, crap. Really, man? Really? I went to... Oh! What, how was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? Oh, come on! Oh, and there's a little, there's a little, there's a big old critter behind me. It's a boss battle critter. Come on, man, that's not fair. I gotta reload my shotgun and all that crap. No, I gotta, I gotta use my, my health kits or something, man. Oh, he's coming back over there. I'll tell you what. Have fun with that, idiot. Shotgun shell. Hey guys, how many shotgun shells does it take to destroy a big old puffy fellow like this one? Apparently, quite a handful. Hey, buddy. That's good. Uh, maybe another pipe bomb will do us nice. Oh, it did! Nice! I got a fuel canister. Sweet, so we got the gas, so the gasoline was kind of the point of coming here, that's right. We were coming here to get the gasoline for our motorbike, so that would make sense. It'd be the end of the level, there'd be a boss battle, etc. All right, we did pretty good, all things considered. Game saved. Hit the switch, open this area back up, and there we go! GG, guys! 100%, 92%, 50% secrets. All right, I can work with that. All right. I wonder if it has anything to do with the PCSX, how it's coded. Oh my 
gosh, we spent a lot of time on that level. Over 36 minutes, wow. Uh, comparing it to Dolphin is perhaps unfair, considering that emulator's polished to a mirror shine, but that runs perfectly fine. Well, not only that, but it's also a more demanding system as well. Because Dolphin is for, of course, the Wii and the GameCube, which weren't as powerful as the PlayStation 2. Managed to get the first uh, two Yakuza games running on PCSX2 at a stable frame rate on my laptop. Nice. Dolphin is great. Dolphin is great. Yoshi, I would upgrade my graphics card if I were you, because that's probably your whole problem. Maybe so. Um, you can actually, there's this website. Wish I could remember what it's called. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. What is my... Oh, gosh. Bottleneck. Oh, bottleneck calculator. That's what you search for. Bottleneck calculator. So, is it this one? Maybe. There's a couple of these websites. Okay, I think this might be it. Or this might be a different one. So, yours is an i5... 7400 you said yeah so you got an i5 7400 we're gonna select that and we're gonna go to your graphics card which is a gtx 1050 thank goodness we're using easy ones and your purpose what what oh this is this is silly this is a totally different one the old one i used never did this um, for this, though, just since it doesn't really matter, I'm going to put you at nine at 980. Okay, C, calculation. Okay. How do I do it? Next step, purpose. General task, graphic, card, intense tasks. What, what? How would I know what the purpose is, dude? Why do you have to be so stupid? Okay, proceed to calculation. This better be worth it. This better be worth it. It'll work great together. It's got no bottleneck. Ooh, man, you're so useless. Dude, that is not what I wanted at all. Okay, I, I will. When I find the actual website I was talking about, Yoshi, I will personally send it to you. Stupid Google. Anyway, I'm catching up. Catching up. 650 in Dare Leaderboard. Nice, man. Nice. I'm also moving my way up the Dare Leaderboard. Mutant designs remind me of mutant. Epoch, a post-apocalyptic board game like Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, well, that's cool. How can the PS2 be more demanding? It just is, dude. At the weakest specs of the six-gen consoles. Um, nah. GameCube is actually the most powerful. <sighs> I don't know about the GameCube, but here's the thing, man. I have seen Call of Duty 3 in particular, because that one has no PC port. It's the only mainline entry in the series to not have one. Uh, that one I have seen run on PlayStation 2 and run on the Wii. And I can tell you just from looking at them that the PS2 is the more demanding system because it looks way, way better. and runs way, way better. But GameCube, I don't know because it's Call of Duty 3. It's not on the GameCube, so I can't, I can't say. I can't say as far as that's concerned. I have a trilogy of Kess getting scared moments. Currently seven quips. Nice. Can't blame them, though. Them encounters would spook me, too. Thank goodness. Kess is level 60, mate and first in the Discord. He's talking about, uh, Steve, he's talking about the League Dare and Chicken Invaders universe, dude. So, but in the Discord, yeah, you're at 36. And uh, you won't pass me until next year. Good luck on that, by the way. Oh, another cutscene. Seems like my luck is in this time. I've found enough fuel to last a good few miles. Another bandit camp wiped out as well. So that was a happy ending. Still, my surprise encounter with those mutants was more than slightly concerning. With my tank full, I rode the last few miles back to town. I'd made a home of sorts. In a place called The Wall, an old electric dam. There was a trader there who bought and sold weapons and old curios. Don't know what that means. He's borderline gangster, but he'll buy almost anything. <laughs> It might be a good idea to ask him if anyone else picked up that strange signal. Oh, the one on the radio. Sounds good, man. Let's do it. Oh, hey, here I am. Here's some food for me. Thank goodness. This is where I live, huh? Cool deal. Uh, can I not use my... Oh, I can't have my weapons out or anything. Oh, mama. Ooh. Okay. Um, I guess I can hop back on my bike if I want another mission. What's up, girl? Loser is the name of this person. 
Prices are up in the bar. I hate this place. Oh, she is a loser. Um, if I had a working motorcycle, I would ride far, far away from this place. Charlie Brown reference there. Uh, I'm so hungry. Oh, okay, I don't care. Uh, loser, did you find anything good while you were out there? Not a lot, really, just an old radio. Oh, another option was, why would I tell you? Great, just great. I'm sure it's gonna solve our food problem. Whatever. How are we supposed to survive if all you people bring back is junk? Leave, what? Everybody here is just so angry at us scavengers. Go out and get your own crap then, if you don't like it. Hey, nice crowbar. Yeah, you want me to hit you with it? What's up, man? Hey, there's some hidden treasure in this town. Honest, why don't you go run and find it? Is there really? Wow. Isn't that interesting information? Thank you, sir. I believe I will. Can't slash the trash, that's the only problem. Uh, we already talked to that dummy. Can I help you? What's been going on in town? So these are dialogue options, so I shouldn't choose the first thing. I should read them all and choose it seriously like you do in Fallout. Okay, anyway. Uh, the PlayStation 2 is a more demanding system because of the way the system was built back in the day. It was a miniature computer in a way. I don't know enough about it to say, but you might be right. Kess, you going to play the PS2 version of World at War? Of World at War? It has a completely different campaign than the PC version. Um, let me get back to you on that, Steve. Yeah, I realized that Kess. Well, my mistake. Oh, about the, uh, about chicken bears, yeah. Here's your chance to shop. Yes, we'll shop while we're here. You still have a PS2. That's cool, Kirok. All right, what's been going on in town? Anyone else hear that weird radio message? You ever heard of the Reds gang? Oof. Um, I have so many questions. Uh, let's ask about the radio message. Sorry, we haven't been listening. We only use the radio to pass messages to the other outposts. Why, you hear something interesting? Uh, never mind, what's the local news? Can I ask you something else? Ah, uh, never mind, what's the local news? Nothing special, just the normal crazy stories, although it's been a while since we had an update from the city outpost. Hmm. You are a lot of crazy stories? Oh, sure. That we are being watched from the sky by aliens. That some kid playing video games accidentally set off World War III. You wouldn't believe the stuff you hear. Wow. Yeah, I've heard some of those crazy things out there. Uh, yeah, and now these rumors about a big cannibal army that has taken over the city. Ha! Those freaks couldn't run a bath, let alone an army. How much you guys want to bet the cannibals took over the city? Justin A. Evans, welcome to the stream. He says, I downloaded this total conversion yesterday. Looks amazing, doesn't it though? I love it, it's so good. Also get upgrades, yes, we gotta get upgrades. This is one of the more obvious examples of Doom Melody's Nash's soundtrack. Oh, I see what you mean. Heck, even have a Nintendo that still works. Which one, Kira? So, never really done PC gaming. I've always been a PC gamer from about the age of five. So. Oh man, uh, stranger things have happened. Need something else. Um, what's been going on in town? Barrett's men have moved into the dam. Probably gonna start charging for power again. Stay clear of them, we'll kick them out eventually. Why aren't you stopping them? Us and what army? There's a National Guard job. Or, excuse me, that's a National Guard job. We'll just wait until Barrett turns up missing, then we'll get those idiots. National Guard? Yeah, the old Provisional Army. What was left of it? The last local unit went into the city. Oh, about three years ago. They haven't been heard from since. I've never heard, even heard of them. Yep, we had a general and about two dozen soldiers. They used to be a big help keeping the peace. Wonder what ever happened to them. You didn't say why they left. Maybe because I have no idea. Uh, last thing this general said to me was he had been made aware of a greater need or something. Pfft, I think they just deserted. Yeah, probably. You need something else. Uh, you ever heard of the Reds gang? Or actually, what's been going on in town? Um, why, where is Barrett? Let's ask that. He packed up and left for the city with a bunch of his thugs just last night. Left a token force to hold the dam. I hope the desert eats him alive. <laughs> He'll probably get destroyed by those cannibals of the city. Why'd he go to the city? No idea. They all just jumped in their transports and took off south like they were in a hurry. Wonder what that was all about. Let's hope they don't come back. Uh, you ever heard of the Reds Gang? Reds Gang? Oh, you mean Reds Gang. Bunch of lowlifes. They've hit us a few times, but they've got vehicles. We couldn't catch them. Why? 
I found their camp. They've been wiped out by mutants. By mutants? Ha! Good riddance. I won't say those P words didn't deserve it. One of those mutants had a flamethrower. The big boss one. Oh, really? Was he 10 feet tall as well? Pull the other... Pull the other one, Scav. Almost. He knew how to use that thing, too. Oh, wait. He said, was he 10 feet tall as well? Pull the other one, Scav. Oh, he doesn't believe me. He doesn't believe me. Almost knew how to use that thing, too. Ha, ah, I've never heard such a bigger load of crap. Those freaks can barely walk in a straight line. You've been in the sun too long, waster. Whatever. What a, what a piece of garbage, man. I'm telling the truth. I destroyed him with my shotgun. You don't know nothing. The original NES console, says Kirk. Oh, that's cool, man. Still play Mario 3, in fact. Love that game all these years later. Nice. All right, Troy says, I have an OG Xbox that still works. I've been playing on it for almost five years now. Nice. I've got a Nintendo, three, nah, <laughs> a Nintendo 360. I have an Xbox 360 and a PS4. Those are the only consoles I have. I'm well committed to PC, as you can tell. I was a Nintendo guy until I was around 13. Started to prefer PC the more time I invested in a TF2 and other first-person shooters. Yeah, I can, I can see why, Yoshi. Can't beat mouse and keyboard for first-person shooters. Okay, anyway. I have the old Knights of the Old Republic games, which are bad A. Nice. So. Okay, Knights of the Old Republic. Do I have that one? I don't think I do. I have the Jedi Academy one. All right, let's, uh, let's continue on our way. Ooh. Are these uh, Barrett's guys, I'm guessing? Thug, you want to talk? Talk to Smiley. Don't bother me. What's up, Smiley? You annoy me. Leave before I really get angry. Wow. Things will get better someday, hopefully. What's up, man? Ex excuse me, get out of my way. Dude, count of three. Okay. Hey, Scaver. Well, he says, hey, Scaver, back in town long? This guy's a peddler. I'm supposed to leave. Dude, I wanted to buy stuff. What's up here? Anything interesting? Um, not really, no. Okay. I'm still remembering what they said about treasure, so, you know. What's up, old timer? Old coot. Oh, man. You, you heard her, haven't you? What are you talking about, old man? Is he talking about the radio signal? The lady. You heard her voice. You heard the message. I, I did. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, you mean the woman on the radio? The woman on the radio. Ah, oh, man. I knew. I knew. You can always tell when you've heard the word. You're marked, man. I can see it on your face. Clear as day. He's right. Oh, whoa! Kirok with the $5 super chat. Thank you, man. He says, so cast dumb question, sorry. But these PC games, do you pay for them? Or are they available for free to upload and play? Okay, so Kirok, that totally... <laughs> Thank you for the $5, man. So anyway, uh, let me explain it to you, dude. So, most games... So cast dumb question, sorry. But these PC games, do you pay for them? Or are they available for free to upload and play? Most games, both old and new, are still being sold, and when, in cases of like that, I usually buy them, and I usually get them on, like, Steam, for example, which is my main gaming platform, but not just Steam, you know, there's other things like the Epic Game Store, Uplay, Rockstar Game Watcher, etc., but most games are here on Steam, uh, and as you can tell, I have, like, quite the library of a bunch of different titles uh, but that's not all games, right? Some of them are DRM free and you can just download them and get them from indie websites like itch.io and Indiegala. Um, some games are just no longer sold. So they're abandoned where so there's kind of like openly pirated. Nobody cares because, you know, what, are the, what else are you, how else are you going to get them, right? Uh, so it varies. Like that's how Oregon Trail is. It's abandoned where so we just distribute it through websites like archive.org. But for um, most games, like Chicken Invaders, you get on Steam. Doom, you know, everybody has Doom, so you just download mods for it. Those are free. Like this right here. This is a mod, so this is totally free content, what I'm currently playing right now. And then Grand Theft Auto, Rockstar Games Launcher. So I don't know if that helps or not. I was trying to answer that as thoroughly as possible. Oh, man. I have never heard of Steam, really. So, okay, Kira, you sound very much like me at the age of 17, dude. Because, so, I played games from, like, the age of five to about nine years old. And then I got out of gaming till I was, like, maybe 14, right? And then I slowly dipped my toe back into it. But when I did, I just bought games physically, right? I bought, excuse me, physical copies of PC games because that's what I did as a kid. I didn't realize that digital distribution was kind of the mainstream now. And so, 
once I learned about that, and the funny thing is, I learned just because I downloaded Steam to get Team Fortress 2, because you had to have it installed to play Team Fortress 2. That was the only way to get it. And so then I learned about the many uses of Steam, and then, you know, went on to use Steam. So it's actually kind of cool. The worst offender in terms of backlog and availability is Nintendo, to the surprise of hopefully nobody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nintendo should put their games on PC, because we can just emulate them anyway. So why not, why not have us get paid? Don't forget about GOG. Yes, GOG, some good old games. Yes, not only is GOG an excellent source of old games, they oftentimes get remastered, and there's compatibility tweaks, all kinds of good stuff. Steam has been around since 2003. It's been around a long time. It originally started as an update client for Valve's own games, then branched off into what it is today. Anyway, let's continue. All right, so this guy knows we've heard the woman. You about to feel a fist on your face? Do you know who she is? I'm going to be take the friendly approach with this guy. You know who she is? I don't know her, only of her. She speaks in set intervals, not all the time, and only to those she is marked for greater things. It's the numbers, the code. One, two, two, one, I think. What code? What do the numbers mean? Where does this message come from? Let's ask about the code. They say the code can reveal your future, how you live, how you die. Okay, okay, this is just, this is going off a little bit. It's a little bit much. Your future, how you live, how you die. It's partially reality and partially what you need to hear. Only person who can say for sure is you. Right, that settles it. You're bad barf crazy. How am I supposed to figure that out? Believe or don't give a crap. Whatever. I know she's real. She read out my birthday. I'm gonna leave. Okay, so. What, what a dumb dumb face. Okay, anyway. Moose. Howdy, you're the fellow with the motorcycle, ain't you? Dang fine machine, that. I am, what of it? Yeah, she's a beauty, all right. Uh, easy Tesla Glide 79, right? I remember seeing an article about it in an old comic. I always wanted one, too. Back when I was a kid, man, what I wouldn't give. You trying to buy my bike? Wait, was this before the war? Can I ask you something? You trying to buy my bike? I was just about to say how much that would have made life easier back when I was used to travel. What places have you visited? Been to the city a few times, walk south of ways, find north too for a few miles. But didn't find anything worth going back to. So I settled here when I got old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, Kara says I will check out Steam. Please do, sir. So I think you will like it. GOG is my backup storefront. Oh yeah, they got a good launcher too. Okay. I still read the hard copy of the newspaper with my copy. Do you, Kira? Players, I want to buy this game. Nintendo. No. Players. Guess I'm new it then. What the stink? No, re. Yeah, that's Nintendo, all right. They gotta, they gotta move up to the 21st century, son. Okay, Microsoft's been putting their games on PC since 2016. Sony's been doing it for the past couple years, and they're adding more and more on there. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Start putting them over here. FYI, to upgrade guns? You need to find a workbench. Will do, sir. Will do. I'm just going around finding people to talk to. What can you tell me about the city? Mmph. What's left of it, you mean? Took a nasty hit on the north side. Used to be good scavenging if you could deal with the radiation and the looters. You places worth looking for? Not much left, I'm afraid. Every year, another one of them towers falls down, covers up even more, and every few years, the flooding gets worse. You must have found some great stuff in the early years. Oh, sure. There probably is a few good pieces out there just waiting to be found. Won't be by me, though, and you want my advice? Sure. Don't risk your own skin in that place. I never told you why I stopped going there, did I? No, you didn't. I thought you said something. I thought you said you got too old. He did say that. I'm going to reply with that. Yeah, well, maybe I did. You trying to walk in 10 miles in a blistering heat, age 73. You want to hear the stinking story or not? Sorry, yeah, I do. Well, about three years ago, me and two others went in the city. Found a pretty good claim, too. Oh, smart place filled with goodies. Nice. Uh, oh, yeah, ammo, survival gear. Got me a real nice rifle with walnut stock. We dang near spent a whole day in there. That was a mistake. You had to spend the night there? Never go to the city at night. Golden rule. That's what they say, ain't it? That's just an urban legend. Yeah, well, back then that rule didn't exist. People camp out there hoping to clear the bigger buildings in the daytime. Most just disappear. The city's full of cannibals, you know, that's probably why. Nah, nah. That was before all that. 
you didn't really see mutants that much. They were there, of course, but not nearly so many. Okay, so tell me what happened. So we make camp at this place. I went up to the roof, wanted to look at the stars. Imagine it was all back to the way it was. Go on. <laughs> oh, man. Bloodborne and Demon Souls on PC win, right? Sega's been releasing Sonic games on PC since 1996. Yes, they have. Uh, I wonder if Kess knows about the Mario game Nintendo released for DOS back in the 90s. I didn't. Which one was it? Mario teaches typing? Uh, uh, and it was beautiful. Clear skies. Just a hint of blue as the moon came up. I sat there for a good hour or so. Then I saw it. Saw it? Saw what? It was a person. Just walking up on the roof of one of the towers. Except I wasn't walking, really. Just sort of drifting. Okay. So I'm watching the thing, and they just keep walking off the edge of this roof. It just drifted through thin air. Went to another tower and vanished. A yeah, ghost? That's creepy. Sure you didn't dream all this? Wow, so I'm not sleeping at night. Can I ask you something else? <laughs> I swear to goodness, I saw what I saw. Packed my bags in the morn and told the other two I was heading back. Never been in the city since. Not then, not ever. What happened to your friends? Oh, nothing so sinister. Got jumped by mutants on their way back. Torn to pieces? What the crap? Well, you said it wasn't sinister. Not a hundred yards from the station gates. Guard told me. Maybe it was a warning. You should think about that. Huh, thanks for the story. Don't mention it. Can I ask you something else? Go ahead. So, you like my bike, do you? Uh, oh, I asked about that already. Uh, this was before the, the war. Sure was. I was pretty young, of course. I don't remember much of the old world, as they call it now. Which comic was that now? Do you remember that the war? Like I said, not much. I was, oh, six, maybe seven years old. Old world went crazy. My folks died a few years after. He ended up becoming a traitor. Oh, so basically there's... I'm, I'm getting some lore to this world then. Basically there was a huge war that caused this big apocalyptic fall. That makes sense. Um, Cash, you should go back and find some double team missions. <laughs> there's not double team missions in this game, dude. No, I'm teasing. I know what you mean. You're talking about chicken invaders. We'll get to double team missions eventually, but I'm not specifically looking for those. Right now I'm primarily interested at like going... Uh, star system by star system and just doing all the missions. Start saying, then we got attacked by a Wampa. I was talking about an enemy you'll encounter. Oh, really? No. Oh, okay. There are mainly education games. There were six that were released. Wow. Haha, <laughs> Cash, you sound like Horton. Here's a who. I don't know who that is. I said what I said, and that's all I said. Elephant faithful, 100%. I don't get any of those references, but cool. Commander Keen's engine was originally used to pitch a PC port of SMB3 to Nintendo. Super Mario Bros. 3. Really? They were reportedly impressed with John Carmack's work, but still declined. Huh. That's too bad. What might have been. Alright, like I said, not much. Blah, blah, blah. Became a traitor. Sorry to hear that. Uh, thank you, stranger. But you needn't be sorry. That was long ago. And I've seen too many friends die since then. I've moved on. So how'd you end up as a traitor? Well, I had actually about 17 at the time. This traveling caravan took me under their wing. Two decades later, and it's been running the whole business. Wait, two decades later, and it's me running the whole business? Oh! Oh, he was running it at 37. Oh, in my stupid head, I was thinking he was saying, like, two decades later is now now. And I'm like, you said you were old. Okay. Hmm, thanks for the story. Oh, what other place have you visited? Been in the city. Oh, we already asked about the city already. Uh, who are you? Name's Moose. Used to trade out of the station in the outskirts. Tried my luck at scavenging. Didn't like it much. Now I just help run the dam, tell stories. Why they call you Moose? Because when I was a young man, I could haul like a moose. They said I just had a strong back. Is all. Name stuck as it does. Okay, well, uh, enough talking to Moose, I dare say. Let's go on. Party hard. Party hard. Dude, there's actually a really good game on Steam called Party Hard. I need to do a series on it. What's in here? Oh, an actual... Uh-oh. We pump iron and eat chrome, scav. You really want to screw with us? Not really. Thuggish guard. Screw off, waster. Okay, then these are like the guys I shoot when I'm out in the wild. Bagman, scaver, what a surprise. I trust the day finds you well. I'm good, you. 
Oh, absolutely marvelous. You seem tense, Scaver. You need something to erase your troubled soul. Oh, you need something to ease your troubled soul. You buying? I'm not looking to get high, pal. Not interested. I, I'm actually a little interested. Where's the Where's the yes please button? Guys, why is there not a yes please button? Come on, j just a little bit. Come on, it, it can't hurt, right? It's saying how Doom modding went from Origawad to awesome conversion mods like Ashes 2063. Isn't it cool? It's so neat. Um, Steve says, I wonder if they still have the code for Sonic or for Super Mario 3 on DOS. That'd be neat. Cash, you have to do the old school Western voice you were doing while reading the script. And Horton Ears a Who is an old school cartoon, funny as ever, and available on YouTube. It's a short. Oh, okay. Good to, good to, good to hear, man. Hardy hard on Wayne. Is that a thing? Isn't Horton Hears a Who a Dr. Seuss book? Sounds like one. Love doing assignments and yees and cheese guests. Nice, man. We will be assigning a lot more to you um, on the next episode of Chicken Invaders, which will be here in the next couple of days. 20 plus years of innovation of the Doom Engine with Source Ports has done a lot of great crap. Yes, it has, Steve. Mm. It was also turned into a cartoon by Looney Tunes. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I'm not looking to get high, pal. I hear, I hear. You don't need a high. You need something practical. Something to up your game. How about a stem, huh? Military issue, I got some. You have stems? Which ones do you have? Where on earth do you get those? Uh, let's see what kind he has. Something you in particular would kill for. I got some regen. You know what that is. You heal twice as fast. Uh, purge is a real gem. Take a few before you dive into a hot spot. Also sell some ammo. But don't tell Smiley. That's our little secret. Alright, make me an offer. Oh, wait a minute, where do you get this stuff? Ask no questions, tell no lies. I got powerful friends. You want some advice? Ask me a different question. Uh, stems you have, or I make me an offer. I always need to come around. I have a region stem for 250. I also sell purge for 200. If you just need ammo, I sell quips of 99 for 100. Your choice. Oh boy. Uh, guys, which one would be a good thing to use? I'm thinking I'd want purge, but I'm not really sure. Does anybody have any recommendations? I know Yoshi in particular has played this. <laughs> and probably Doom Upcoming as well. Um, I'll think about it. I'll think on it, man. Let me, let me come back here later, perhaps. So, let's see who else we can talk to. Because we still got weapon upgrades to worry about. And I might want to use some of the money on that. There's this guy. I'm so hungry. Nobody cares. Uh, exit. All those other idiots wishing for a nuclear winter. Sheesh, a nuclear winter. Wow. Guns, gas, ammo. Guess that's up here. You annoy me. Leave before I really get angry. What a whiny people. Gosh. Wow, look at, look at everywhere we can go. That's kind of neat. What's up? Hey, nice crowbar. Thanks. Can you get out of my way, please? What's up, man? Peddler. Kurt's female friend is pretty hot. Shame you don't see her around much. <laughs> okay. All right, then. Uh, anyway, regen is the most potent healing item in the game. Okay, we will be sure and get some of that then. Thug, we need some woman in this chicken crap outfit. Women, excuse me. Okay, then. Uh, you annoy me, leave before I really get angry. That seems to be happening a lot. Smiley, the traitor breaks into a grin as you approach. What's up, how you doing? What brings you down to my neck of the waist today? Hey, Smiley, I tried that store. Got something you might want. What are you selling? I picked up this old radio. Hmm. Something about that sounded real familiar. I learned that from something many years ago. He weeks. I don't know what the reference is. Right, well, I got this radio here. I even managed to get it working. Take a look. Takes the radio from you, turning it over in his hands. Ah, sweet Latron. Multiband, pretty good condition. This still works? Yep, just needs fresh batteries. Oh, I got tons of those. You picked up anything on it? Those funky old government, this is not a test message, is still playing. <laughs> not really. Picked up so something that sounded like a transmission of some kind. He narrows his eyes on you. Oh, what transmission? Heard a voice, a woman's. Why, what's so strange about that? Heard a voice, a woman's. Gives you that dirty laugh again. Now I know you're talking crap. A woman, huh, telling you a bunch of numbers and crap? That old story is more shifty than me, pal. I'm telling you, I heard her. Have a listen yourself. 
Why would I lie to you, Smiley? You're the one with the crooked deals. Let's, let's go with aggressive. Screw you. My deals ain't crooked. They're competitive. You really think I'm gonna believe some junkers trying to push on me? Uh, I ain't lied to you yet, Smiley. Have a listen, you'll see. He turns the radio on, but it gives all, out only static. Really funny. That I don't hear or nothing. Look, I know what I heard, I'm not lying to you. He rubs his stubble chin thoughtfully. You know, Barrett left town in a big rush last night. He headed for the city. Only place a broadcast like that could have come from. Maybe he heard it too. Whatever, I'll give you the radio for a hundred. I think Barrett is trying to find this girl too. His eyes, he eyes you for a moment. Heh, <laughs> forget I said anything. Let's say I believe you, you wanna sell this thing or not? Do I wanna sell it for a hundred bucks, guys? Again, I don't know enough to say. Uh, let's leave. Well, we'll consider selling the radio for a hundred. We'll come back to that. Uh, where's the actual store, like the, or the workbench, I should say? Where's a workbench that we can actually do upgrades with? Cause I don't even know what an, an a uh, workbench would. Oh, wait a minute. It'd be like this, wouldn't it? Or this? Well, this is my area, so you'd think it'd be be in here. I don't actually know. Oh, hey, there's a little map and stuff. Yeah, so how do like weapon upgrades and selling stuff work, guys? I'm still a little bit lost all that. I guess I should sell the radio. Anyway, when you started the reaction live casts and one hour later, I took a bath. So I'm going to my cousin's house. Oh, that's that's cool, man. So, I guess. Yeah, the cast react stream was fun. So, Malsha Real Tide made for great additions. I guess I have to sell him the radio. Yeah, how's 100 sound? Done. Here's your money. He sets the radio on the shelf and counts out small dollar bills. Pleasure doing business. Really? Just like that? No haggling? Say, you and I, we're both friends. You think you could do me a favor? If you do it, I'll give you a discount in the future. He grins. Oh, I get it. You want something. What is it, Smiley? There's a friend of mine. He lives in the city, in the old tunnels by Michon Circle. I got a package he could use. Think you could get it to him? The city? Why would anyone live there? What's in this package? Let's ask about the city. He ignores you. I do it myself. Uh, but you know how it is. Militia needs me here. Miles of desert. He grins again. You could get there. Right quick on that flaming steed of yours. And what is in this package? I feel like I'm playing almost the role of, like, the Mandalorian, in a manner of speaking. That's kind of cool. All right. And what is in this package? That's for his eyes, Scav. All you need to know is that you will be greatly rewarded. He's a weapons dealer, too, you know. High power, military, and munitions. Interesting. I know you wasters love any opportunity to get something to help you out. That nasty chuckle again. All right, I'll bite. How am I meant to find this guy? I already told you. Miss Sean Circle. He owns a store. His name is Riggs. Riggs. Some of my boys used to go trading there, so I know there's a way th through. Ask the barkeep. He'll know. This better not be a waste of time, Smiley. Fine, I'll go ask the barkeep. Give me the package. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. His name's Rick. Some of my boys used to go trading there. Way through. Ask the barkeep. Oh no. Better not be a waste of my time. He attempts to look offended by your reply. Scavenger, you wound me deeply. When if any of my tips led you astray? You should be paying me for that last one. It was exactly a treasure trove, that place. Fine. Give me the package. He hands you a heavy briefcase with a sturdy looking combina combination lock. Don't bother trying to open it, and let me know when you're ready to leave. I'll send word you're coming. Is it better be worth it? Heh, <laughs> come see me when you want to head out, or buy anything. Oh, before you go, can I make you another offer on that bike? No chance. See ya. <laughs> nice. How you doing there, buddy? I'm ready to head out. What have you got to sell? You know, I could get into the city. The city? Go ask the barkeep. I got no clue. Okay, fine. What have you got to sell? What are you buying? Need supplies for the road? Are there those weapons back there for sale? Ha ha ha, nice try, Scav. You know that stuff is for the militia or Barrett's people. Fine, got anything you can sell then? For you, I scored some med kits the other day. Almost brand new, you can have one for 100. I also got some shotgun shells and some 45 bullets, say. 35, 30 for the bullets, 80 for the shells. Actually, I don't need anything right now. Well. What else do you think you'll need? Uh, weave. Okay. 
So I guess I'll go and spend my money on an upgrade with that last, or with that other random dude. And we also gotta go talk to the barkeep. Uh, isn't this the barkeep? Probably not. Where would the barkeep be? Like, what's the... Oh, this is what he means. This is what he means. He means this guy over here. Barrett staked another wastelander up on the walls last week. You want to be like that guy? Mm, yikes. Wish a man. Hey, there's some hidden treasure in the town. Why don't you go run and find it? I already tried that, dummy. This object requires a blue key. Maybe if I can find a blue key. Let's go talk to this fellow. Kurt, watch yourself today. Rough crowd. All right. Do you know um, how to get to Michon Circle? Michon Circle? You mean the station, right? Why don't you want to go there? I need to find something. I just need to get there. Uh, I'll say I need to find something. Well, it's been a long time. See, we used to send supplies out that way. I remember we used to take the north road until we reached the outskirts, and we went through the tunnels. Tunnels. Who are you sending supplies to? Uh, a couple of settlements sprang up in the old tunnels beneath the city. After the bombs fell, a lot of people drifted down there. That was a good few years ago, mind. Why'd you stop going? Uh, it got way too dangerous for a start. Cannibals flooding once one of the tunnels we used to use collapsed while caravan was moving through. Bad times. That sounds like bad times. Tell me about these tunnels. Uh, before the war, big machines used to carry people around underground. Subtrains or whatever. Better going that way than the surface. That's the way we went in. How do I know I'm going the right way? Can't I just drive there? No way. No way through. Too much rubble, and the rads will cook you before you get anywhere near. Uh, the tunnels are your best bet, trust me. Okay, say I take the tunnels. How do I find Michon? Just follow the arrows? No, really. I'm serious. We used to mark out routes in white paint. Don't stray from the route, and you'll be fine. And that will take me to Michon Circle. Why? Is it dangerous down there? Tell me a place that isn't dangerous. Cave-ins and flooding, mostly. Also, the usual legends about mole people that used to live down there long before people moved in. Ugh. So they stick to this path, I'll get to Michon Circle. Well, maybe. That route should pass through South Station. There's a small market there. Someone will know the way from there. Thanks for the help. Before I go, you know anywhere in that city still broadcasts. Hmm, interesting. You mean radio? Nah, sorry, pal. Moose might know. He's an old trader. He's been in the city. Lives just opposite the bar above the market. Moose, I'll go ask him. Thanks for the chip. I've talked to Moose already, though. Uh, don't mention it. Could I grab something from the bar? Alcohol and water is 20. Food is 50. It's the dry season, so prices are up. I'll take a glass of water for 20. I'll actually, I'm actually curious. Oh, give me 10 health points. Whoop. Coming up, cleanest water on the wall. Uh, don't need anything else right now. Uh, got any work? You already seen Smiley? Good. We do have something. I think you could help out with, but it might get a bit violent. That interests you? What is it, mutants? Uh, nah, turns out we got some domestic problems, if you think it'd be up for that. I can put you in touch with my friend, f with my friend Fortune. So, you game? I see, a little cleaning house? What's the pay? Uh, catches on quick, doesn't he? A hundred dollars in scrap? Fortune has the details, but make sure you have everything else done in town you're wanting to do. It might get a little heated here afterwards. Uh, I'm ready. Where is Fortune? I'm not quite ready yet. Okay. So we're going to cut. Mm. I don't know what to do. I don't know if to do that first or if I should go to the city and do the mission. I think I'll go to the city and do the mission and then do the uh, do the work later. What's new? Same as always, Barrett Scoons are making a move on the dam again. Crops are coming in, but less than last year. At least it's been quiet. Sounds thrilling. Watch yourself today, rough crowd. What's been happening around here? Oh, I read that already. Okay, so we'll come back and do some work for him later. What's up here? We need some women. We pump iron, need chrome. You want to talk to Smiley? Don't bother me. Okay. All right, guys, uh, well, I don't really know how, to, I still don't know how to upgrade, like, my guns and stuff. I still haven't figured any out any of that. I don't see any workbench or anything. 
Um, I guess I will go back around and buy one of those region items from that one guy that was really expensive. And once we're done with that, we will go ahead. I already talked to Moose, right? Uh, different guy. Can I ask you something? Oh, crap! Kirk donated another $5. Hey, thank you, dude. Oh man, hey Cass, the only PC gaming. Hey Cass, the only PC gaming I have done is finding websites like Classic Reload, Com, or Emulator Games online. Lots of old school games to play. Yeah, yeah, there's a ton of old school games to play, Kirok. A lot of like old console games that are emulated through a browser, and also tons and tons of flash games too. So that's pretty cool. Yoshi says, "Do the work. You won't be coming back here." Okay, so do the work first. Thank you for the info, Yoshi. You could always install DOSBox and play old DOS games that way. You can. You absolutely can. Uh, I'm trying to get to Michonne's circle. Really? Not an easy walk. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta do Moose's voice. Really? Not an easy walk that deep in the city. A lot of tunnel to cross. Hmm. Might want to write this down. Ready? Uh, ready. Take the road north till you get to the outskirts. You need to find the entrance to the subway, which is a big glass building near the police station. The entrance is blocked, but you can get in through the second floor. Okay, then what? You need to follow the signs. Head through the station, head along the downtown line till you get to South Station. There should be a small settlement there. You have a quick route to Michonne from there. Sounds easy. I'll ask around there. Well, that's if they'll do it. They used to let us go through the mall by the square. But if they won't open the door, it's been blocked off, you might have to find another way around. Hmm, anyone I should talk to might help? Well, if he's still there, you could ask around for Bishop. He's an old scavenger. He spent years in the city, might help you out if he doesn't shoot you first. <laughs> Paranoid, is he? Oh, sure, but there are things in the subway that only he knows about. If anyone has a map of that place, you can bet Bishop does. Look around. Thanks for the information. Don't mention it. All right, so, uh, yeah, good deal. So we will go ahead and go to Michonne's Circle after we do the work in the bar because Yoshi said we won't be coming back here. So, uh, work in the bar it is, guys, because I want a hundred thingamajigs. Oh, you know what else? I still gotta go buy a thing from What's-His-Face, don't I? Forgot I was planning on doing that. Hold up. Get back in here. We gotta get a regen. Uh, regen for 250. As I always say, you're only as good as what you're using. All right, so we go ahead and have that. And, uh, can you get out of my way, dummy? Please? Thank you. All right, so back to the bar. We're gonna do some work for the bar and then we'll come back here and do Smiley's mission to go to the city. Thank you again, Yoshi, for telling me about the about the whole uh, thing. Workbenches only appear in Afterglow. Oh, okay, you had the chance to upgrade one of your weapons in episode one after a few more maps. Okay, all right, I didn't know that, dude. Thanks for telling me. Kirox says DOSBox. Oh, you didn't know about DOSBox, dude? Yeah, it's a DOS emulator. That's how I played uh, Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2, or no. Not two. Two had a Windows version. Grand Theft Auto, well, so Grand Theft Auto 1, but it wasn't any good. I played the DOS version of that with DOSBox. If you're curious about it, check out my GTA 1 install guide. Mr. Vast says, oh, hey, about those weapon upgrades, there's a good chance it's only after. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, Yoshi. Yoshi mentioned that, man. So. This feels like Fallout 1 and 2 copycat, but it looks like a good game to play, though. I'm enjoying it so far, man. I'm looking forward to the Fallout game, though, too. Uh, yeah, DOSBox, use old DOS commands from the 90s, install games off floppy disks if you have an external floppy drive. Or even one of those uh, floppy to USB converters, maybe. What is the Super Chat music? It is, uh, it's something called Scatman. So, Chicken Ward sent it to me and I thought it was funny. I'm about ready to change it here sometime soon, though. Are those the Royal Guards and your cat's Reacts live, Kess? Um, there's several mods that were in that stream, Ed. All right, let's do the work. Um, got any work? Mutants, I see. Little cleaning house, what's the pay? I'm ready, where's fortune? Here, this key unlocks the bookshelf over there, and you two have fun. Me and the boys will handle things on this side. See you soon. I wonder what's gonna happen. I don't know, but I'm excited to see. Interesting. I was looking for treasure, if anybody was curious. All right, I'm guessing uh, this lovely lady is Fortune, right? Can't interact with that at all. 
Wait, I wasn't ready yet. I wasn't ready. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to talk to the girl. Wait a minute. Wait, time out. Oh, I don't even have a recent autosave or anything. Oh no, guys. What do I do now? Where is my last save, as a matter of fact? It was a, it was a, that would have been right over here, yeah. Um, those dang raiders. Okay, I'm guessing that's what we're doing, is we're doing that mission. Uh, real quick. I don't want to reload, though. We made so much progress. Well, most of it was just talking and dialogue. Okay, yeah, let's reload from this point. Yeah, all we really have to do... Um, that I, I didn't really do much other than just talk to people. So, what we'll do is we'll go upstairs first and talk to Smiley real quick. Get through his dialogue. And, uh... Yeah, here we go. Picked up an old radio, needs batteries, heard a voice. I don't know why to you. You'll see. Okay, you want something. It's in this package. I meant to find this guy. Give me the package. Alright, so we did we did all that. We gotta go talk to the guy at the bar. And he's gonna give us work to do. And then we're gonna ride out to do the job. I neglected to do the side mission, so the part about this being a nine map episode was a bit of a lie. Whoops, must be 10 or 11. Ah, okay. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, mine pal, it's pretty hot. No, that, that annoying fellow. Okay, back to the bar, hold up. Okay, got any work? Um, think you can help me out. Bit violent, mutants. Now, it turns out we got some domestic problems. I can put you in touch with my friend Fortune. I see a little cleaning house. What's the pay? Cash on quick. $100 scrap fortune. Make sure everyone else is done in town. Make sure you have everything else done in town you're wanting to do. Might get a little heated here afterwards. Key unlocks the bookshelf over there. You two have fun. Okay. So, wait a minute. I was going to buy something, wasn't I? Yeah, I was going to go buy that little extra item from earlier. Okay, so my bad, guys. I didn't realize there was still uh, more to be done with this, in a manner of speaking. This is not where I want to go. We don't want to talk to Smiley. We want to talk to this guy. Okay. We will take Regen Stim. Uh, we're going to leave and be on our way. We got ammo and stuff, plenty of it. Okay, so Fortune, we're gonna need to go back to the bar. Okay. Kirok, hook you up with money, Cash. Yeah, you did. Thank you again, Kirok. This guy looks like Snake from Escape NY. I could see that. Yeah. Okay, anyway. I'm losing the battle to stay awake. I'm gonna go to sleep now. All right, Yoshi. Get you some good rest, buddy. I'll see you at the top. Thanks for being here. Kirok's hoping those investments will pay off later. I appreciate Kirok's support. I really do. This can locks the bookshelf. Okay. Here we go. I wanted to talk to that girl before we left, but I didn't realize. I should have just talked to her before going and hitting all that stuff. But I was, you know me, I was curious. Fortune, the woman dressed in raider garb and carrying a machine pistol, looks at you coldly. You the new blood? You Kurt's friend? Nah, I've been here for weeks. Um, nah, I've been here for weeks. Have you? Clearly you have yet to make an impression. Perhaps today will change that. Snippy, okay. All right, what exactly are we doing? First thing, Kurt mentioned a reward. He did, did he? Hundred dollars in scrap. Yes, I believe that was the agreed reward. You'll get it when we're done. Uh, why now? Just us two. How exactly are we doing this? Sounds fun. Let's do it. How exactly are we doing this? You at the south side? <coughs> Going in through the electric hut. I'll hit the north side through the observation tower. If we're fast, they won't know what hit them. Kurt and the guards will deal with the rest. Just us two. Just us. The guards don't want to get involved. But if we force their hand, they'll have to step in. They've been waiting to kick Barrett and his punks out of here for weeks. Oh, I see what's happening. So Barrett 
and all his thugs that are around the camp. All the different thugs and stuff. Oh, hold up. I got the sun shining through this window. Let me close that curtain real quick. There we go. Much better. All right, so Kurt and his thugs are like kind of like controlling this area, so we're going to go in and like chase them all out. That makes sense. All right. Uh, why now? Uh, you've not heard? Baron is left for the city, chasing some ghosts. The radio woman. Half his men went with him. If we want to take this town back, this is the only chance we'll get. Sounds fun. Let's do it. Excellent. Stares across the water for a moment, lost in thought. Something wrong? Well, are we going or not? Something wrong. I was just thinking, how about we make this a little more interesting? A wager, if you will. What kind of wager? Let's say we have a race. First one to kick rear side and reach the, da the dam, release valve first. If I get to the powerhouse at the bottom of the dam first, I get your share of the pay. And what if I win? Yeah, yeah, you know this place better than I do. Sounds like a scam. What if I win? She smiles. If you get to the bottom and turn the valve first, I'll give you my favorite gun, shotgun, pump action. She's like me. She's been through a lot. She's a real killing machine, believe me. All right, deal. That actually sounds awesome, guys. So I'm guessing it's almost kind of like a speed run, right? Right? Oh, uh, okay. We'll see. She gives a predatory smile. Excellent. Make your way to, into the damn scavenger. I'll meet you at the bottom. Oh, and may the better killer win. Let's stink and do it. All right, guys, and here we stink and go. All right, we didn't find the secret set. Pity, pity, pity. Almost all 15 your Discord server. Hey, good on you, man. Awesome stuff. All right, guys, so real quick, I'm gonna go and use the bathroom, and once I come back, we will go ahead and do this next level. So don't go anywhere. We will be right back shortly. guys i am back thank you everybody for waiting i appreciate it i think Cass is doing the atrium bathroom dance <laughs> thankfully no hey we get to listen to this epic music right i'm hearing about the bathroom dance one has a stream what is it come to a chicken invader stream sometime dude you'll you'll get it well that's going nowhere oh and it says is this a doom mod cast no steve it's, it's not the idea that it's a doom mod is a lie brought to you by um, okay, I'm really glad I talked to that girl now because we're going into this with the bed as opposed to if we just continued and not gone back and talked to her, we wouldn't have had the bet going. Oh, hey, look, it's me! Hey! Wish I could get these bullets, but I guess I got the max amount of uh, ammo. 
for... Oh, no, wait, I just don't have that pistol anymore. Why don't I have my revolver anymore, guys? What happened to my revolver? I sold the radio. I didn't sell the revolver. Tisk tisk. Walk briefcase, medical kit, regen stem. Oh, ha you have the medical kit up for now. Okay. They're I should I shouldn't have shot at them, but I didn't know the glass wasn't going through. What the crap? Oh, I guess I electrocuted them all. Oh, cause the water. Oh, well, how clever am I? <laughs> all right, get destroyed, dummies. What the hell? It's not a real person. What the stink is that? Yeah, at least I still have this left. Okay. Should have the gun now. Is what I should have had. Woo wee. Okay, that didn't quite work out the way I wanted to, guys. Oh, hey, I rid of that guy, though. Whoop. Hold up a second. Oh, I do have the revolver. Oh, it's just on a different, uh, it's on a different key than I thought it was. Yeah, it's on a different slot. You, you, you hit two twice in order to switch between those two keys. That makes sense. Okay, then. Nice. Let's hop in here. Of ourselves to some ammo. Thank you. I got plenty of ammo for this. No wonder we maxed out on ammo for the revolver. Whoops. Yeah, we'll keep it on this for a moment. Can't go in there. Is there anything like secrety worth checking out? Nope. Nothing at all, really. There's some food. Thank you. Yep, more food. Gonna open that up. I'll bet you there's a critter behind it, right? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, crap, crap, crap. That was very bad timing on my part. Dang, Nabity got me. I should have used the uh, shotgun, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, I opened that door up. That's what changed. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good, guys. Oh, come on, Cash. That was done entirely by accident. What was done entirely by accident? The... What do you, what do you, what do you mean? No, it wasn't. It's, it was pure raw skill, my friend. I was... I, I, I'm just the man that way. I, I don't know what to tell you. Gotta get on my level, Steve. Okay, so we got a couple of options here. We can go through this door... Or we can go up this way. I think I'm gonna start off by going up this way. I'm gonna make a save just in case. Oh, wow, I'm so glad I made that save. Oh my gosh. All right, here, let's keep going. Still maxed out on ammo for this. Oh boy. Little lift here. Whoop, you guys see that? I'm gonna use uh, one of my health kits, I dare say. I feel like I might need it. They were a little closer, I'd use my uh, whatever it's called, chainsaw. But they're not. Where, what? Oh, there was some dude up top. Oh, I didn't realize that. Stink, dude. What kind of whack crap is that? So we got rid of them. Oh, man. Let's go grab that guy. Nice. Yeah, we got him. Whoop. All right, so we got guys up top. Can't forget about them. They're gonna cause problems if I don't take them out pretty much more or less immediately. How many enemies are in here? 27 out of 70. Well, I mean, we are pretty much raiding the city, so it's the idea after all. Take out these gangsters that have been threatening me the whole bloody game. Oh, hey, you know what? There, there's the health kit. 
Uh -oh. No, he's still not dead? Really? Dummy, you just, you ruined my, you took out all my armor. Might as well not even have used that health kit. Jerk. Grab all this, thank you. What's this do? Hold up, let's save again. Oh, we're back around at the beginning, right? Yeah. What happens if we go back up here? Do I get that ammo back, perhaps? That we didn't hit earlier? Yeah, this, heavy bullets. That's exactly what it was for. Okay, Fred says, the only thing I hate about Doom is that those Doom enemies like Marauder and Baron of Hell just turn into normal enemy types. That annoys me. It's a little, it's a little strange at first, isn't it? Just to be, be thinking, wait a minute, those were bosses and now they're not. But, I mean, that's just, that's just kind of part of it. Need a blue access card. A oh, bloody course I do. Oh, crap! Oh! Where'd, where'd the closet with all these fools come open up and come from? Stink, dude. Somebody warned me. Now I'm down to like 10 health points. I'm basically dead. I'm like one shot dead. Stupid dog's still coming after me too. All right, 45 out of 70, I've killed most of them. Right, keep looking. Nice. Oh, this is rough going guys, when you don't have much health. It's very rough going. Oh, there's some food, thank goodness. Or painkillers, whatever. Something that'll revitalize me at least. So a closet opened here. Okay, can't do anything about that. Still don't have the blue whatchamacallit yet. So let's uh let's check out this vent or this next area. Ooh, you know what? This is that area that's electrocuted, so we can't fall in. It's very important that we don't fall in here. Uh, ooh, you have to crouch. Dang, nah, but I got electrocuted. That's exactly what we couldn't do. That's exactly what it was. Okay. Grab that. Grab that. We gotta jump over here. There you go. That turns all that off. Okay. So now the electricity's off. I can walk around without having to worry about it. Thank goodness. Okay. So that's how you continue forward then. Junk. This, a health kit, thank goodness. I'm gonna use that if I can. Nice. Got some more junk, thank you. All right, guys, not too shabby. Still got a regen if we need it later, too. All right, so we have that blue key, so let's go ahead and backtrack a little bit. Wait, I came in here, of course. Of course. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's some good tea. All right, where are we? Oh no, can't go that way. We gotta go back over here first. There you go. Get a blue access card. I thought I just grabbed one. Oh, that's a red one. I got a red access card. What do you use it for? Where is a, where is a red door at in any part of this level? I don't really remember that being a thing. Let's go back up this way and check. See if I'm missing something. I'm, you know what, I'm gonna check. Which there's a red thing up here. There is. Right here, I just didn't see it. All right, let's switch back over to revolver real quick. Oh gosh, I have so much ammo for this pistol now. Oh, this is awesome, okay. I'll start using it, making good use of it. 50 out of 70, there's 20 more enemies left. Oh, I found a couple of them too. It's these little crap, these little dogs. I hate to waste the shotgun shells, but it is, that is the best way of killing them, especially from a distance. Oh, well, that door opened and closed. I saw it happen. Maybe there's some bloody enemies up there. What's down here? Um. 
Emergency runoff drainage valve. What does that do? I don't know. Oh, crap. He got me. I'm running low on health, my friend. Dang, nabbit. Should have been paying more attention, shouldn't I? All right, let's try that again. Should have been being a little more careful here. Felt like such a huge waste of shotgun shells, but let's hop down in this way again. Look, off, look around, check. Whoop. All right, we're gonna save. We're gonna use this uh, emergency runoff valve, whatever that does. Oh man, Doom Slayer needs a rival too, like Sonic having Metal Sonic. Um, I mean, isn't you? Isn't all the folks behind the UAC debacle and all the demons of hell as rivals? What else does he need? I don't really think he needs anything more than that. His, his whole purpose is to destroy all of this to rip and tear until it's done. What does he need a rival? What would his rival even be? A meaty man? Wouldn't make any sense. Woo, there we go. And we got another health kit. Thank goodness. I'm gonna waste it immediately. Because that's what I do. Alright. There you go. 75% health. I am feeling so much better already. That looks interesting. Let's look around first. Ah, this connects us all back together, doesn't it? Well, why does this exist? We can't go up here. Well, just can't, I guess. All right, well, uh, with that in mind, let's go ahead and go back to that blue area, I guess. I genuinely would have thought that would have been a secret, but there was nothing there for us. I mean, actually, a good rival rather than Hell and UAC. Oh. Eh, maybe. All right, Cash, did you do the fun levels for Doom 64 yet? I have not, Steve. That'll be next. That'll be our next uh, Doom 64 project is to do the fun levels. There's only four of them, I think, so it'll be a relatively short stream when we get around to doing them. Okay, so now that we've done... So the red one's there. So blue is gonna be... I went in a bloody circle. What a goofball I am. Oh, over here, of course. All right, time to save again. I misread 2063 is 2069. Yeah, I can see how you can make that mistake. I should have snuck up behind them and just knifed them from behind. That would have been interesting. Probably not as effective as I'm thinking of it being in my mind, but still. Hey! Oh, crap! That's a lot. I'll find you, and then I'll eat some toast. Okay. Some of that. He missed. Find you. Find you. Like, you say that every time, man. Why not just find me already? Gosh. Anybody else? A little bit. All right, that is 70 out of 70, gentlemen. Woot woot. All right, so I dare say that's about it. A uh, little disappointed I didn't find the secret in here. But still pretty neat. All right, so, uh, yeah. Go ahead and take care of it. Oh, hey, what's good, Fortune? Excellent, you survived. I'll admit I wasn't sure you would, and it looks like I won. Indeed, I am surprised. I hope you haven't left a trail of surprise thugs in your wake, running right past them. Still, nothing I cannot handle. So now I took care of all of them. So you owe me a shotgun. She, nice. She hands you a beat up old pump gun. The darkened metal finish glows dully in the light. 
You can see the barrel and receiver has been kept scrupulously clean. Enjoy her. She's been through a lot with me, never let me down. I'm sure she'll be useful, thanks. She hands you a bag of scrap, clearly. Well, then I'll leave it to the guard captain to clean up this mess. It appears they have already taken the town. The last few survivors have already fled into the desert. They won't last long, of course. Well, what will happen to this place now? Uh, same as it was before, but now we can better prepare. I've heard rumors of an army over the hills to the west. We've lost contact with a few towns. Would rather not be dealing with these idiots at the same time. Yeah. Where are you from, Fortune? I used to run with a gang not far from here. There was a crash. My vehicle was wrecked. The others left me for dead. I found my way here. Use my skills for myself now. Although, the town does see the benefits. Uh, what if Barrett comes back? He's gonna be pissed. He won't. The city leaves few survivors, and even if he lives, he'll not have... He'll not have the manpower to take the town again. I know his type. He'd rather die than accept defeat. Uh, well, I guess I'll be going. Of course. Head out the door behind me. We've made sure your bike is waiting for you on the road. I want to get going now. There's a big mess to deal with, and I don't think you want to stick around for this. Good luck out there, scavenger. Um, okay. Does that mean I can go through the door? Or not? Yes, I can. Those dang raiders, 100%. TG, guys. Stream almost three hours long. That time to fly. I know it was fun, wasn't it? Alrighty, guys. And, uh... Here we, oh, am I not, am I not going back to the town now? Oh, I guess not. I guess I'm going out in the road. All right, so if I'm not, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this will be, we're now going to the city to take the briefcase with us, right? That'd be the next order of business going through here. Oh crap, if I'd known that, I would have done a couple more things in town first. Nah, I think we kind of did everything we need to. Alright, good stuff. Alrighty guys, well that is going to be it for this episode, our first episode, of Ashes 2063. I hope you guys enjoyed, thank you very very much for tuning in this evening. We'll be coming back and doing a part two of this series soon, and we'll start on our long drive towards the city to deliver this briefcase and maybe even uh, get in contact with the mysterious radio woman. That would be pretty stinking cool. So yeah, we'll be doing a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas stream tomorrow, so be sure and tune in for that as well. And uh, yeah, thank you guys again for watching and for being a part of the stream. Big thank you for 21 likes. Big shout out to Kirok. Big thank you to him for his $10 in Super Chats. Uh, Steve says, oh man, we'll have a good day, guys. We'll do, Steve. Thank you for being here, buddy. And don't worry, guys. We'll be back to do some more of this very, very soon. I have had a ton of fun streaming this today. Uh, Doom Upcoming is right. Those three hours went by really, really fast. And uh, I'm looking forward to coming back and continuing this again and seeing uh, what more we have in store. So yeah, more Ashes 2063 content on the way. And uh, that's all for me for now. Till next time, I've been your host, Cass Gaming. And I will see you all at the top.